two, episode three. You don't know. Big Bad Spray, Young Spray, here with my co host, Queen Ice Scream. Hi, everyone. You already know. Here yeah, today, we're bringing back Mr. Farron, Alex Paul from episode one, mm-hmm. season one. <coughs> but obviously, we win that one, so mm-hmm. we thought we'd bring back Farron today. Whilst we're episodes deep, you get what I'm trying to say, so it's yeah. not no idiot thing now. We know what I'm going but obviously, that time there, no one really knew what he was about. You yeah. get what I'm trying to say? It was just, we just came, we didn't know what was going on. Farron come, he helped me. We bloody mm-hmm. got a good show out. I remember we was talking about the Stormzy and Chip or whatever. Yeah. And then we got good feedback, and obviously, we carried on, so. Yeah, we thought we'd bring him back today. So yeah, my brother, thanks oh, bro. for coming too. Before, before anything, say. before anything, I wanna say, yo, like, obviously, I was the first guy to come. Yeah, yeah you get what I'm saying. I've been watching it closely, <coughs> and team. in terms of consistency, numbers, and people that you're interviewing, mm-hmm. and the generalization of the topic, I re- like, I like that. I respect that. Man. No, I it's respect, good. fam. Respect. Yeah. Where well, it all started with you, my G. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? If you didn't come through that day, remember that day as well. It was a bit shaky mm. still. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Could have went. No, it was a bit of a well. short yeah, yeah, spray. Yeah, 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 you get what I'm trying to say? That's what friends do, right? You get what I'm trying We're to say? We're here and bum. Yeah. Bruv, I respect that in it. I was the first to come, but either way, you mm. t- you you two specifically pat yourself in your back in it because you have formulated everything. Yeah, no, respect, and bruv. Stand, you get respect, me? but I reckon I reckon it was Thanks. obviously it was God as well. It's it's always God, but I'm saying like that you was the first because the narrative we pushed from the start was positive. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So yeah. we got positive feedback because we pushed. They when when they see Spray doing a podcast. Yeah. They probably expected me to come and say, you get what I'm trying to say, madness. You get what I'm trying to say, mm-hmm. fuck this person, fuck that person. They're mm-hmm. all dickheads because they are. But they thought I was really going to say they're all dickheads and all this madness. But I just kept it moving. Yeah, Boom, we spoke on the phone and you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but the podcast yeah. is growing, isn't it? Do you get what I'm saying? It's growing. So, it's growing. Nah, I respect, but obviously you've kept watching. So you know, we do the backstory now. Now mm-hmm. it's time for them to know about Farron, do you get yeah. what I'm trying to say? Cause obviously man know you, but I want them to know like, you know, like where we was, where was you born? Where did you um, grow up? Um, do you know, like give them a little. Boy, sh- shoot me questions, I'll answer, innit? Little backstory, where was you born? Boy, I was born in Islington, them side there. Islington, um, where did you grow up? Grew up in. <laughs> Wait, I'm not finding out. No, no, no. Nah, nah, right, cool. I'll flirt for you. Yeah, 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 like until I'm ready to say what I need to say about myself mm. or when I feel like it's ready to be put out, I'll put mm. certain things out. Mm. So I'm not going to be sitting there and just chatting mm. patty when a man asks me where I was born and I start telling him which hospital, where, you mm. know what I'm saying? But I'm yeah. saying, like mm. if you shoot me questions. Uh, cool. like, well, for anyone I'll that doesn't it, know like. you, who is Faz? Boy, Faz is a guy, a grown up. Um, Farron. Farron, sorry. Mm. Do you know what? Mm. Listen, my name is Farron, right? Mm. And obviously, like, from the road, nickname in the family, it's been Faz, mm-hmm. yeah? Like, my dad gave me that name, Faz. If you really check it, what short name can you have for Farron? It's mm-hmm. hard, you mm-hmm. can't find mm-hmm. it. Yeah? Uh-huh. Cool. Mm-hmm. I got lucky, respect. Mm-hmm. I grew up in Tottenham, mm-hmm. I've got older brothers, and yeah, man, man, I went through the thick of it, innit? Yeah. Like, anyone that knows, like- How many eh, brothers and sisters? Boy, I'm right in the middle. Okay. Four younger sisters, four older brothers. Oh, wow. you got a big family yeah. there. Yeah, family's big still, man. Um, but yeah, man, I grew up on the roads. Mm-hmm. Done my schooling, all the, all the rest of it. Man, like me even got good GCSEs. You get me? Yeah. I'm not <laughs> like I'm not a dumb you. And yeah, man, I just, bro, I've been on the roads in it, spray in it, spray. I've been on the roads with you, bro. Like you, like you know where we're at, bro. Allegedly, mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Who, what? Allegedly, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? bro. We grew up in the <laughs> same hood. <laughs> we're stepping but into the same parties, like do you know what I'm listen, saying? Listen, listen, this is podcast world. You get what I'm trying to say? And obviously, you got a lot of people following you. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So they're gonna want to know about you mm-hmm. because remember, Cream's the same way. Like she's a bit. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You don't have to let out 
too much or what you don't want to let out. But the basics, they want to know about you, bro. Like you do your out here, you're doing what you're doing. They're gonna want to know about you. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? So I that's, can be guarded. Sometimes that's what. Yeah, that's well. what. That's what we're about. You know, mm. we're not about um, trying to make people say things they don't want to money. On a James English thing, I'm not here. Nah, to it's be not. A hey, you see when it comes to social. Yeah, I'm trying to say it's just quick. Even Tobes, Tobes come to you, boom, 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 boom. We just kept it pushing. It's nothing. Do you get what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say? But if bro, you want to skip that, no, bit, no, as I'm saying, saying say, no, skip bro, that bit. Bro, it's like this, isn't it? Bro, bro, it's like it's this, yeah. There's a lot yeah, out there, bro. Mm-hmm. If I tied him down a nickname, yeah, mm. like there's much more people that know about me, innit? Right. Yeah. I feel the work that I do, yeah, I feel like it demanded my full name do you understand exactly. when i'm getting stopped by police mm. and having rambos in my car mm. they're not hearing faz mm-hmm. do you understand mm. and i believe that what i do i will stand by it morally in my heart i believe i'm doing the right thing when mm. i'm older i will sit back and i'll be happy to show my children and my grandchildren what i'm doing that's mm. what i have for what i'm doing mm. right now so yeah like as i'm saying in it like i don't believe what i'm doing is some nickname thing in it all right so what made you change your ways then because you're saying you grew up on the roads with me or whatever we've done things on the road so what made you now think all right this is long now mm-hmm. like i need to change my ways now yeah. all right well you see me yeah i believe this in it like i bec- like, Go on. Like, i believe yeah like it might sound weird but i believe with power becomes responsibility mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and with different bruv, everyone's got different powers in it yeah. if you're a jaw rapper a mm-hmm. trapper a police officer whatever you do in it a sports star if people aspire to you mm-hmm. then that gives you a certain degree of power mm-hmm. now what do you do with that power in terms of guidance in terms of giving back do you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying mm-hmm. and when i'm saying that um changing my ways yes man did and does still have the goon squad around man do you understand man could trap and really trap 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 do you know what i'm saying like mm. like like to the elite levels of trap mm-hmm. you know this yeah but at what point does it stop at what point do you start clearing up your money at what point do you start paying your national insurance contributions at what point do you start paying your taxes do you understand mm. like growth it's growth in it like and at the <coughs> same time it's like i ain't got time for my youths to be coming in mm. Knowing that they just spoke to their brethren and mm. their brethren come and grab the few O's of man, do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's like, bruv, there's just levels in it, and sometimes like I just started thinking long term in it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying, bruv? Because there's no guarantee, there's no insurance in certain things in it, and like you know what I know in it. The roads can go from zero to a hundred real quick, bro. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. So it wasn't like nothing specifically that made you change your mind. Listen, you, I you look, go to prison. Yeah, I went to prison. I went to prison. So that didn't make you change? No, nah, but, but listen, I went to prison early, like when I was in year nine in school. Like mm. I remember my teacher was sending me coursework. So year nine, so that's secure unit, right? No, no I went and um, felt a minute. Felt him. At um, year one nine? day. Yeah, year nine. I was in felt him, bro. Yeah. Mm. No. Wh- no, what years I did my GCSE? You can't I, go I went, felt him in year sorry, nine. Sorry, sorry, bruv. I went doing GCSEs in year nine. <laughs> yeah, you can't go like, cool. Whatever year I was doing um, GCSEs in, yeah. Mm. That's the year, year I went to jail. Year right, cool. Year eleven, I went to jail. Whatever. I got four months to do two. Mm-hmm. Spent one day in Fulham, and and then the other rest of my sentence in Hunter Yeah, yeah. You get me. And yeah, man, fucking Oxford. I was just like, do you know what, bruv? You see all this little plastic blue cup, mm. and waiting to association to fill my mm. tea up, and waiting for association for shower. I was like, I can't deal with this. Man is all getting. Spray, you know the um, the powdered milk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Man is making some paste out of that, brother. Yeah, mixing it with toothpaste, brother. Yeah, and that's a man is sticking man's curtains up. Yeah, mm-hmm. bro, that thing got so hard <laughs> when man went to pull that thing and it's pulling out the wall, my brother. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo. But the bottom line is, bam, yeah, it's like I, I'm sitting down in the summer and I'm looking at the bars, brother, and the bright blue sky. And I'm me and my son. I'm like, but this ain't my life, my bro. Mm-hmm. Do you get me, fam? I'm like, this is a mad thing. And I thought to myself, do you know what? Yeah. But don't get it twisted. I never come out of jail in um, at that age of um, sixteen or whatever, and thought I'm not doing road. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. Because that's when I really started doing road. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But that jail warning was a, It was good enough for me to be like, yo, like I'm gonna be super diligent yeah. Yeah, yeah, in what yeah. I do, bro, because. I'm not, like you know certain man. It's like you get the impression that they like jail, yeah, or yeah, they're yeah. so reckless. They're just in there. <clears throat> I can't be in there. Like yeah, things are going in that jail. I just, I, I, I work really. I, I bought a man the other day. 
and he just come out here, yeah, when when I'm up on um, White Pals here, yeah, and he was even like, yo, spray I miss the lads. Mm. Like mm. he wants to go back because he's you just get in, they get institu- institutionalized. Yeah. Do you get mm. what I'm trying to say? Even big up big up my money man them as well. Them lot up there, they love it. But they're you know, in, I think in Forest Bank, like most of them are bloody in Forest Bank. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I think happens with the people that go jail spray? You mm. see the like you see the ones that get heavy sentences from a young age. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But if they go jail so early and they spend so much time in jail, mm-hmm. they don't get time to build foundations, families, mm-hmm. money. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm-hmm. So when when they come out when they're 25 years old, it's like a big blur to them. Yep. The block's different. Yep. That girl's not adjust. there again. Mum's mm. move. Parents dead. Mm. It's just like, yo, I'd rather just be back in jail, just getting my three meals a day, mm. just banging mm. gym, working. Like, you know what I'm saying? To say, to be honest, though, because it's like with you, you got it early in it, and you kind of fixed up early. But it's like with man, I done all my jail in juvie, innit? Like from like 16 to like 21, 22. So I got it out of my system early. So mm. sometimes it's better to get out of your system early as well. Trust Do you get what I'm trying to say? Then mm. go late and, and that's well you. As well, but remember, enough, man, when they're getting it, then when they're getting it, big tough sentences, like when they're 25 and that, yeah, but it's that's different. them, they're coming straight, out when remember, they're 40. When man's 40, going to young mean? offenders institution, you can't really call that jail. That's mm. light. Mm. No, 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 no. Yeah. I've been both. So exactly. You can definitely call that Joe. You get me? When Wales is more bouncy, more goals off in Wales. Well, remember, I haven't been Joe. big man Joe. Yeah, I've been both. Exactly. But so from, what, bouncy, I, from what, what I from what I hear, the big man Joe is a is is a problem compared mm. to the young offenders. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. Now for serious, for serious, serious shit, but bouncy is Wales. Do you get mm. That's when everyone's trying to get a name for themselves yeah, yeah. and all that shit. In the big man Joe, more time man just wanna go home. You get what I'm trying to say? So, man, they're just sitting there doing their bid. But obviously, if he goes off, it really goes off, innit? Like, something might get really, they might not go home. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, mm-hmm. that's what it is. But, um, yeah, man. So, um, so after you, so w- when was that then? When did you change? When you, what year was that? Bruv, I went during like 2000. No, what year did you choose to change? Like, to, so, um, bruv, so remember, so I come out of jail, innit? And then obviously, I got into a few. I got into a few madnesses in it. Like in 2003, I got jabbed up. And then later on down the line. Jabbed two, meaning stabbed. stabbed yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the COVID thing, you're all right. Mm-mm-mm. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, bruv. And then in 2006, I got it again. But that one was a bit like, that had more complications, you get me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But even then, fam, man, was still running road. Like it weren't that. Like I, like I never just come off road. And fucking, um, but it's just like, yeah, I did get injured. Yeah, man was angry. Yeah, mm-hmm. man could make shit happen. But it's just like, where does it stop in it? Mm. Like, where does it stop for me to go on? Do you get me? Mm. So, so it's just like... What was the turning point that said, right, let me reintroduce myself? All right, cool. I, I don't think people understand in it. Like, I, we're, we're talking about jails here right mm-hmm. now before, yeah? Mm-hmm. And that's the jail that's like, made out of bricks and fucking metal, innit? Mm-hmm. Now, if you're talking about the jail that's made out of the human brain and the mm-hmm. human heart and its physical capabilities, then it's a whole next thing, do you understand? Mm-hmm. And, but me, um, my comeback, like, in terms of mental, emotionally, physically, like, it was a fucking whole journey, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. And I said to myself, it's like, what are you going to do with all this energy? Do you get me, bro? And, mm. bruv, I never come off the roads, innit? Like, on some retreating thing, you know? Like, waving a white flag because man got injured, you know? But as I'm saying, like, everyone knows, I got what? I got stabbed in two, three and two, six. Man is running roads, like, way, way past two, ten, mm. like that. do you understand? Mm. So, it's just me to say to myself, do you know what? Yeah, it's like, I just saw, and I, f- I believe a lot of what I'm doing now is because of who I was and the respect I had on the streets. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> That's why I feel that I can even communicate with a lot of people. Mm. Like, I'm not just coming up as some guy like, oh yeah, let's stop knife grinding, bruv. Like, bruv, like, I, I've been on the roads, but me, I was always like a, Ask anyone, as you said, that word bouncy, like man was a mm. physical, bouncy, scrappy guy. Like, that was my energy. Do you get me? And mm. that's the reason man actually turned nice to me. Do you understand? Mm. Mm. The truth is, each time I got stabbed was me in a physical altercation, bouncing a man. And man ended up getting. <laughs> being too bouncy. Yeah, being too bouncy. <laughs> do you understand? And man got stabbed up. So, so, do you feel like what you're doing is your purpose? 
Listen, as I said... you feel like you found your purpose with what you're doing now? You know what? I'm content with what I'm doing and I feel like I'd be content with what I'm doing now until I can't do it no more. That's what what normally when you find your purpose is. Because, like, sometimes people go through life and they, they, no matter how they uh, get certain things or do certain things, there's just always something else in them. So, like, maybe that's what it was. You know, I, I, I honestly feel, yeah, that what, like, what happened to me, like, it pushed a lot of anger, like it pushed a lot of emotions in this man, do you get me? Mm. But I feel like if I'd have chased the wrong emotions, I wouldn't be getting back the satisfaction of intervening with knife crime the way I am, do you understand? I could have mm. just been someone that's bitter mm. from being stabbed in life, do you understand? And or you could have been someone in prison, in for prison stabbing someone for, back. For stabbing someone back, mm. do you know what I'm saying, bruv? But to me, like, true to I run off the motto, yeah, if I can save one life, it's all worth it. So anytime I'm doing anything, that's just my energy. So you get me, bruv? Because, and it works for me, man. And some that, and because I actually see, like I'm working with people, like a lot of people for a long amount of time in it. Mm. And I get their responses, you understand? Like I see where they're at, like a year down the line. I speak to their parents and their parents tell me how that person's moving since they've interacted with me, do you understand? And, that in itself is warm, man. Like, yeah, no, oh, come on, man, rate, man, rate what you do, but Definitely. obviously going going back to um, when it started, because I remember the first incident, because obviously people, they still might not know mm. how it all started, but I remember something about, I'm not sure, so that's why you can fill me in, yeah, but this is what I heard, yeah, there was a little rave going on, or something, something's kicked off at the rave, I can't remember, or something, but someone's called you, you've come down there, boom, you've ended up corralling, Corelling a you with a knife, a big knife, you get what I'm trying to say? But I remember you've took the knife off him or something of you showing you showing it on Instagram like yo, how's people supposed to be how's people allowed? Mm. Kids allowed to come here. Yeah, talk us through that story, yeah. fam. Right, so boom. That was big still. Yeah, that was right, so basically, that was, rating, that, was like so the first, that was big still. Right, so that was so like basically yeah, my niece, yeah. Mm. My niece is having a party, yeah. Mm. Like she's sixteen at this time. But obviously, my niece, my daughters are going to the party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My daughter's going to the party, my mm. brother's at the party, that's her his door. Do you understand? <laughs> boom. Down in Broad Lane, I'm on, like, where was I? These times, I'm up in East or something, just mm. G chilling. Mm. And then, boom, now, um, I get a call. But my brother's, like, supervising the party, and he's like, fam, like, he's like, about eight men just come to the party, and it's like, they're trying to firm up the door. Okay. Do you get me? I'm like, what do you mean, mm. firm up the door? He's like, fam, they firmed up the door. But he's like, when I firmed up the door, he's like, man, I lift under the jumper saying they got shanks in them, innit? Okay. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, respect to them, man, there. Boom, zoop, zap, zap. Threw the dog in a whip, <laughs> brought back back. <laughs> Which back, dog was it these times? Bruv, Which dog was it? Bruv, Do you remember? Um, it weren't none of these dogs here, innit? It was just nah, a random thing. Remember, innit? I ain't know the yeah. dog. The nah, dog, them. Nah, 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 the saga, innit? Okay, innit? Yeah, okay. So, boom, <laughs> it was yeah. peaks. Yeah, no, nah, but bruv, I didn't even bring him out. I told you, okay. yeah. yeah, he didn't even got to that. Mm. So, boom, boom, boom. So, I've jumped in the whip now. I've hit the A406. Boom, bap, bap, bap. Yo, Mandem, Nikos. Yo, boom, bap, bap. I don't know what I'm going to now, innit? My brother's there by himself. So, I'm just thinking, Mandem with Shanks, eight man. I'm thinking, cheers. Follow a couple of men there, zoop, zap, zap, down there. As I pulled up in the car park, my boys pulled up, whoop, back, 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 slid through the back door, spoke mm. to my brother, like, what's going on? He's, he's like, they're all in the party. I'm like, they're all in the party. Of course they're in the party. They're in the party. Of course they're in the party. Yeah, of course they're in there. in the party. I said, mm. I said, I said, where's my daughter? He's like, in the party. Oh this my is even gosh. Mm. I'm like, cool. So I, what I said there is this now. I said, man, then, we can't just go in the yard, yeah, and just fucking on an Aggie thing, innit? Mm. Mm. Man's got to do it like stealthy. So choose mm. it's a little yard party. It's like, it, it's in a flat, yeah? So man, I went upstairs. I'm fucking... So it was in a yard? I thought yeah, it was in no, a dance. No, you know? bro, but it's in the yard. So these times, they've gone in the even yard. Even more techy. Even more techy, fam. So you got to mm. go upstairs, mm. at one set of stairs, and then boom, it's the yard's just there on the left, mm. yeah? So I've gone into the yard now, but I've said to my brothers and everyone, yeah, bro, I'm going to start yanking these youths at the party one by one. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even know what's going on. So the music's still playing. You've got a mad plan. Yeah, but the music's playing, bruv. So I've done this now. The music's got playing. Mad plan. It's all blacked out, bruv. Yeah. Mm. Then these times I've done this now, fam. So I've gone up to the yard. I said to the man, then, bruv, you stand by the front door. You stand two meters back. You go another meter back. So we're going to start passing these niggas at you. So mm. We're going to start passing these brothers at you. Yeah. So I've gone in now, bruv. I'm just doing this behind the man. Then. <laughs> so I'm like, come here, come here, come here. Before they even turn over, I've just got one out, just shifting them all out now. <laughs> <laughs> so, bruv, I've got like half the party emptied and they've kind of clocked. Do you get me? Yeah. Mm. These times I've yanked B 
basically, I've yanked the youth that lives in the yard out there. Oh, get me? mad to. Yeah, he's, he's even come. Yeah, he's even come. So basically, oh, no. so basically, like, he's so even basically, now. obviously, like, so he's even now. My, my brother's daughter mm. has got her brother, different dads, he's in the yard, but I've just yanked him out as well. Yeah, yeah everyone's, out, out everyone's out, everyone's out, everyone's out. Then they've kind of clocked, but before they clocked, <laughs> man, you went, hey, everyone out the yard, put back, back, <laughs> back the yard. So these times now, how old were they? But they just range from like 15 to like, Little scumbags. Yeah, like fifteen, like eighteen, mm. twenty. You yeah, know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. bro? Yeah. So as I've yanked them out the yard now, yeah, I'm saying to the man, them like, bruv, like we deal with them. I'm like, oh, do, 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 do. but it's like they see, they saw big man out there, but it weren't a fully like, oh, come out the yard, dickhead. It, mm. it, it weren't a bullying thing. It's like, mm. brother. So mm-hmm. I look at them, I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying, mm. you man ain't coming back in this yard unless you get searched in it because I'm here, you man's got shanks in it. Mm. Mm. Like they obviously they've done violated mm-hmm. by showing a shank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I ain't come down to make you get mucked. Yeah, 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 I ain't come to fight you, in it. So. But if you do want to party, by all means, you can party, mm. but you're going to get searched, innit? Mm. Um, the little you that I've the yard that lives in there, he looked at his mum like, his mum's like, <laughs> stay out there. <laughs> 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 so I'm just laughing at like, that. So anyway, I'm searching you. Yeah, mum is waiting. So, but I'm seeing you, so I know they're in it. I'm saying, wait there, oh, ain't you my oh. I said, brother. Uh, uh, pass the thing. Mm. Pass the thing, you get me? Mm. got that from now. But I'm, I'm going to hold it for you, yeah. I'm holding that, innit? Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Going, but it's like, as they all saw, that it weren't a bullying thing and they was passing the shanks over mm. and, and going, going in. in they thought, it was right, just cool. that in it yeah. you got your sh- do you know what I'm saying mm. and then boom after that but what I done personally because you just thought fuck yeah. you know yeah and then they's all raving they went in there they handled their thing bruv and then my personal thing was this I'm not going to get about their shanks innit mm-hmm. but I just gave them all a little change innit mm-hmm. like whoever wants to disagree with that disagree with that mm-hmm. but at the same time they all got back a little 20 10 pound here and there mm-hmm. and then that was it mm-hmm. it dissolved no one got stabbed no one mm-hmm. got injured mm-hmm. and then but that was what made you think fuck you know is this what the man them's rolling yeah, up, bro, up and down a, with no but you see me spray yeah mm-hmm. like I never ever rolled with nice personally do you mm-hmm. understand like before I got stabbed mm-hmm. or after I got stabbed do you mm-hmm. understand but I just like the knife things just don't work for me mm-hmm. I've always been a man that using my hands and rolls on my dogs. Do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, spray? Yeah, yeah, I'm right. a machine still, now I'm joking. <laughs> You're done, no? Mm. Whatever. Each to their, their own spray. Now, go ahead. But, you, do you know what I'm saying, fam? Mm. So, it's like the knife thing, like, it was just a bit mucky for me, brother. Like, these youths are just carrying the maddest things. And it's just like, it's all okay. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Just yeah, no, that was big, that was big. So, Sorry, from man, that now, you just thought, fuck it, this is it. I'm just, this is what I'm doing. Mm. What made you think? Like, you know what? All right, cool. I've done this once. Cause it's techie still, you don't cut blood. No, but here what this is. All it takes is for one of them to think, what's wrong with this nah, dinosaur? No, 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 listen, that's why Faz Amnesty is, it's not a confrontational thing, fam. Mm-mm-mm. I don't knock on no one's door. I don't tell you to bring me it, fam. Mm. Mm. I go on my messages and I see man saying, help me. Or parents or someone yeah. saying, boom. Mm. I'm that person who is a way out of bullshit. Do you understand, mm-hmm. bruv? Like, if the mum's feeling that like she's scared or the boy's feeling like he's going to get... St- in a situation now, he's passing it over. Do you understand? Mm. So it's not like it's a confrontational thing. So that's what I'm saying. When you see man that's, um, don't get me wrong, like man can physically take things off youths, bro, but you never ever want a youth to see in the road thinking, hey, that's my man, yeah, that bad's up man for their knife. So you get me? Mm, mm, mm. Because they're just gonna all just wanna prove that you can't bad them up for their knife. It's not that. Mm. My thing is this, bro. If you wanna give me your thing, yeah, without getting arrested, bro, yeah, Mm. and probably get a little JD voucher or something, yeah, to go on in your way, yeah. Then do that, my brother. Mm. You get me? But if you don't, brother, keep your thing in your waist, bruv, yeah. And then when PC Evil comes and grabs you, that's your business. Nah, this thing this thing's serious, blood car. I even clocked it one time, yeah. Like let me let me let me like I must uh, I phoned up a you I phoned up a man for a jaw, yeah. Mm. In my old yard or whatever. But he said, Alright, boom, go on Linky Soldier. So I've gone to Linky Soldier by the train station, so I was gonna get trained to um, probation, yeah? Mm. So I've gone to the train station, but I've seen one you, one like a young you, but he's burning a zoot now, yeah? So I was like, yo, what? Come thinking it's my man soldier, but he's like, I'm not selling weed, but he's even, he's got attitude, you get me? Mm. But I'm even thinking in my side, right, cool. I just left him, can't feel, I could just break your whole face, but cool anyway. So boom now, the you soldiers actually come now, so he's come true, boom. All right, boom. Got my jaw, boom. As the youth's leaving now, the same you that was being, he's trying to pace the youth, like, yo, what? Were you with my man? I'm not gonna say the youth's name, but he said, yeah, were you with the The youth's even trying to blank the youth, mm. but the youth say more mad than, yeah, where's my, he, he's going mad. Mm. Anyway, cut a long story short, my man's gone now. Next minute, the same you that my man's saying, yeah, wait, 
he's come but he's got what they call a ZK. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You get it's not AKs now. We're Don't not be kidder. Z <coughs> he's cut they've got some mad things anyway, yeah. So they've come back the way this youth was talking from the start, I thought he had a machine or he must have something. Mm. Fam, he just started cutting. <laughs> so it's like but he's just cutting, he's cutting, he's cutting to the train station. But these lot was going after him, fam. Mm. They were gonna trust me, yeah? yeah. But even me, so I'm like, yo, read it, read it. But I've stopped them, but even in the back of my head, I'm thinking, raw. Mm. Like, them big thing there. Yeah. You see, like, just any little slag, but obviously, they really come saying, look, cameras, you like, guy. Okay. But they run back around to still yeah. try and get the you. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But boom, the youths come back, he circle, but I was like, yo. The, the trains come and say, yo, get on the chip. You get what I'm saying? I'm on the job saying, blood, what's you wrong with you? I've had the page and blood. Let me tell you something. My page, I'm saying, blood, what's wrong with you? That, that was your fault, you know. I'm trying to talk to this you. The you's telling me about you showing me other scars. And yeah, I just thought, you know what? That's when I saw, yeah, it's a bit nuts for these lot. Still, because there is just anything. That was anything. Bro, and you was about to get yeah. touched up for anything. Like, no, I feel like, I feel like a lot of these young youths, yeah. And I feel like it's just something that's present in men full stop. Right. Mm. Do you understand, mm. fam? Mm. Yeah. And then a bit of ego. Do you know what mm. I'm saying, bro? And sometimes, bro, yeah, it's like, bruv, that pride will make you die, bruv. I'm telling you, bro. Fam. Like, sometimes you just gotta, you get me, just go on chill, bruv, and just mm. hold out for the next stage. You get me, fam? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's mad still. Trust me, fam. But no, I, I rate you for what you're doing, though, car. That's what I'm trying to say, car. Even, because it's, it's been, how long has it been now? It's been a few Since years. Since 2019, now. Yeah, that's what I'm and saying. And even before that, but like before I actually done the knife thing, you know, I was like, I was steady vlogging on Facebook and shit. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Just mm. trying to give you a bit of sense, bro. But as I said, man, like I'm a front runner, man. Like I like to do the physics. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? I like to get in the physical. Yeah, yeah, you know. So I see you, and man. So see you and Raspet doing the patrol. We're gonna get into that as well. Do you get what I'm trying to say with the current affairs? But yeah, we see all of that as well no but full respect man but this is the man this is i don't know what you want to be known as but do you get what i'm trying to say we call him superman you get what i'm trying to say oh, is that it? you get what i'm trying to say oh yeah, yeah blood yeah. what happened with john terry oh uh, that's what i was gonna ask I, john he terry posted you you know i remember he's supposed to be a racist bastard i i rate i rate john terry still but he's supposed to be fucking I mean? bro i just fucking went in my inbox bro i just see john terry there and he's just like boom he wants to donate would it be cool if you um if you donated? I'm like, yeah, appreciate that. Um, yeah, so you just donated, didn't it? Yeah, I just want to know how much, fam. So yeah, I just want to know how much in it. I might need a bit of an investment. In it sounds good. <laughs> I'd always, but I just know I'd always invest in a good friend. So yeah, it's worth <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, now big up John Terry though. Yeah, big up John yeah. Terry. Cause I rated that still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, man. That's I just, good. But you know what it is, fam. Yeah, the way I see it is well, but yeah, mm. we. I feel like every ends comes from like they've got people that make it to a certain level in life mm. in form like in forms of financial stability mm. and fame do you understand mm. and he's come like from Quay, from Quay past people that's come from where I come from yeah. that see the problem mm -hmm. that rely on the same children yeah. to feed what they do mm. in terms of a business or whatever and they haven't pushed do you know what i'm saying fam mm -mm -mm. so but me personally but i don't really judge what people do fam like i'm more interested in what i'm doing do you know mm -mm -mm. what i'm saying fam yeah because see i see them i see them paying notice man paying homage you get me john terry idris elba yeah man yeah. idris man like but he just jumped in from the jump man. from the gate like, still like yeah yeah like, nah. idris was organic with his part of the campaign you got man, stringer man. bell man they look a snake you get Who? me stringer who's stringer <laughs> idris elba you don't know about the wire fam Oh, okay, you know, okay, what, what sorry, 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 okay, sorry, 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 yeah, mm. yeah, he's a cool dude still, man, mm. can't, I can't fall yeah, him, yeah, that's good, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, big up for that, man, flipping, mm. so what's going on now, then, you, what's happening now with Faz um, Amnesty, so right now, Faz is on a mad thing, I'm trying to get as much volunteers as possible, because, mm -hmm. me personally, I just believe in the walking, and little talking, do you get me, fam, and, the way I see it, a lot of people do sit down. Don't get me wrong in it, like, everyone's built different in it and everyone can contribute in different ways, mm -hmm. you understand? And I understand that. But it's about, I believe that unless people know that there's things for them to do that their skill set can handle, yeah, they can't do it, do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's why right now I've got various proje projects that 
I'm doing and I'm involved with in it. Because I don't believe that just taking that to the street is going to be the only way to help someone. Do you understand, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, like, I believe in prevention. Prevention. Better than that, cure. Yeah, it's, it's better than cure. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Bro? Yeah. <clears throat> so, Definitely. Um, that's me personally. I'm just try- like, I'm trying to build a positive army, fam. Like, I'm trying to make positive trendy. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm. Because it's just like, I just believe that fuckery and negativity is just kind of like, it's sitting at like 75%. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. On the internet, do you get me? Yeah. Like it needs yeah, to balance yeah, def- up. Def- yeah. Yeah, nah, I hear that. But um, now, respect for that, we're going to go into the current affairs because it's still on you. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Well, the first current affair, like all what's been going on in the streets with, what? with, the, with the kids and all that. Getting um, cream. Yeah, with the white van. The kidnapping thing. The kidnapping of the guy, of right. the little boy. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, everyone sees what's coming out, innit? And everyone's reacting to the um, to the news they're seeing on social media. Yeah. I'm a little baffed that I'm not really seeing it on mainstream media. Mm. That then, is the biggest yeah. thing for me, is the fact That's that we mean. ain't heard it on the news, LBC, nowhere what's but going on like what's what the, has what happened has because happened? so basically there's this little boy called demetrius yeah mm-hmm. and he got kidnapped and he got fat he basically must have run away got away from the house or whatever mm-hmm. he's saying that they gave him a tablet to take that means that they dro- and there's other kids in there mm-hmm. so that means there's kids somewhere in it now where so since he's come out number one that's headline news mm-hmm. Is it because he's a little black boy that when they're not speaking about it, what is it? Do you know what? So basically, what I've heard about that, yeah, exactly that story. It was even making me actually think: Is this news real? Because uh, I haven't heard was, it. Do you this, know that? That's how bad it, this it is. is. This is what's going on, yeah. Because look, Feds has put something out, and it mm. says, "Bruv, yeah, that that incident with the ten-year-old boy mm. is a separate incident, yeah, from kid from." Other abductions, right? They say they're still investigating that thing. Mm. I've actually spoke to the mum. Do you understand? Yeah. And when did that happen? Um, what when with I spoke him, to the mum? With, with, with her son, yeah. So that what about a week ago that happened, huh? With, with yeah. her son, isn't it? Hmm. About that, no? Yeah. About a week, nothing's coming headlines. But they're basically saying that we shouldn't. Um, the Fed saying that we shouldn't be really getting into this too much mm. because there's more to the story than we know. And I'm chatting about police were emailing me from my email address on Instagram, bruv, saying that we're hearing you're going out with, with, with a vigilante crew. Yeah. <laughs> and look at the but and, 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 and before I do that, mm. I should make sure. Listen to this. Mm. Do you, I remember the day hey, wait there. Going mad as wait well. there, wait there, wait there. Shall I just read you the email? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they know they're going mad as well. I'm sure I got this oh, email somewhere. They're murdering people, they're kidnapping people. That sounds people. like so they're trying to cover up shit to me. They don't want you to listen. Mm. All right, yeah. cool. He's just trying to find something. Who to read this out? It's it, it's a bit lengthy still. Do you want to read that spray? Your guy, man. Ice cream. Come on, <laughs> like, that's, I'm I'm basically like, ice cream. Today, that's what said. That's what they put out. Officers carried out inquiries to find a ten-year-old boy who was reported missing on the morning of Tuesday, eighteenth of May. The boy was located and returned home on the same day. Police are aware of the report circulating that the boy have, pot- have potentially been abducted. Officers are continuing to conduct extensive inquiries to establish the circumstances of the alleged abduction and whether any offence has occurred. Officers are also aware of reports of a suspicious incident that occurred on Saturday the 15th in Enfield Lock area involving a white van. Officers traced the occupants of the van and arrested a man and woman on suspicion of attempt child abduction. The man and woman have been bailed and return on a date in mid-June. At this time, police are not linking reports of the alleged abduction of the 10-year-old boy and reports of the, sus- of the suspicious incident in Enfield in the white van. As such, officers are continuing to investigate the two matters separately. Show it, do I need to really go into no. more? But yeah, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Saw, that was so crazy. But so, basic, so you see what I'm saying? Even so, them just sending you that email, why couldn't that be in the news? Exactly. Why but couldn't what, that? But what's even got me tripping now? So basically that. It just sounds like they just don't want thinking, you involved. Yeah, that there's a little boy mm. that's being drugged in a white van from Enfield, right? Mm. That's what everyone thinks. Mm. But clearly in that email just there, 
it's actually saying to you that that incident in, in Enfield and the boy being drugged is mm. complete different things. Mm. What that says to me is there's an organisation going along, going on to take people's children <laughs> because these incidents to me are, are connected in some way. Um, a woman said that she was trying to get her ice, she was going to buy ice cream and they tried to snatch her child. She was going to buy ice cream. Bob, she was Bob, trying to buy her. Uh, yeah, do you know that? So basically, I've been dropping my daughter to secondary school mm. and picking her up Straight. because I'm hearing that there's Straight. white fans going around taking, but you know deep it was, taking yeah. people's kids and they ain't said anything on the news to let us feel I remember spray. Remember spray. I've been doing patrols before yeah, right, white yeah. vans. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, no. I've been like you I, know, was doing it from. Um, why was you doing it from, from kids having yeah, coming yeah, home and all yeah, that yeah. and and COVID and then respect, that, um, big up respect. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, big up respect always. Mm. And then that what's his name that that Nelson dude mm. that tried to grab out the girl in South London, isn't it? Yeah, he yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You shouldn't have to. You should. They need to have more of that energy. Be to be fair, you shouldn't even have to do that. With all of the technology that they got, to be fair, I believe that the police can find anyone who they want if they really wanted to. Do you know what I mean? If a child has come back, if a child has come and said that there's a house full of kids, how comes they haven't like, you know, like tried to do like a map and try to like say, right, we're going to put out this a search bit for this and see where are the parents of kids that are gone missing? Why aren't we hearing anything about this? Like, I just feel like there needs to be more said. Do you know what I mean? Trust me. I hear you. Because they've got people on the internet going crazy, Sorry. they've got parents going crazy, and yet still we ain't heard on LBC news nothing. I know, and it's just that I just need more information from it. Like Definitely, even me, yeah. it's like I get so much information, but all the information is coming from the public. Do you understand? Mm. Exactly. And you always have to question like how much the public's information can be accurate. Exactly. They have, they got the resources. But the thing about have, it, that's yeah. the thing, with that sort of thing, fam, yeah, what you lot are doing, yeah, as well, yeah, like, once you see, like, a picture of, and this like is supposed off a to post, be a non- just going off of a post. Yeah, man's just going to go and whack that up. And yeah, exactly, it's like, bro. you could end up just whacking, whacking up, up the someone. wrong guy, bro. And the next thing <laughs> you know, you know like, in a man's had, up, a no, man's had an argument with his girl, his girl's taking a picture it's of It's mad him, now. Said, Bob, 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 you're listen, fucked so up now. Look, 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 Farron and Respect, look, they're catching you. Could we're, you we're imagine? On you. Yeah, now, yeah, they're catching you. Yeah, you catch your brother. But, Bob, yeah. so, so you said a house in Wolverham Cross that everyone's going to, yeah? Mm. Saying that it's got bars in it. The man are messaging me, bro. They've gone to the yard. People are trying to um, break the back of the yard open, bro. Mm. These times, bro, yeah, the yard's got bars in it because the person that used to live in the house before that person that lives in there used to do gold. Do you understand? Okay. But the person that lives in the house now is an NHS female worker. Do you mm. understand? But there's so much information that's wrong that's going around the internet, people are just pulling up to the wrong people's houses. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? And it don't take a look. All it takes is one little smart-ass guy, bro, yeah, that wants to set the internet on fire, bro, yeah, mm. to post the madness, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Like, people sent me videos of man getting abducted saying this is a, a child abduction. But it's a, but it's a full-grown adult getting abducted in the thing. Do you mm. know what I'm saying, bro? Mm. So, yeah, man. Yeah, it's mad, man. The internet's crazy, man. That's the thing, because there's a lot of fake news flying about as well. But with with that with that stuff, it's like even if it's fake news, you wanna fuck them up. So it's like just you know what I mean. It's, you gotta be careful as well. Right, you, you know? have gotta be careful, man. And then depending like on the audience you got, uh, do you know what I mean? You can post something, bro. And remember, what's seen can't be unseen. You know, mm-hmm. what's heard can't be unheard. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And when people push that save button, that screenshot button, bruv, that's mm-hmm. it. Forget mm-hmm. about it. But that's like, that's what I'm trying to say. That's like, you was posting this stuff about Dutch though, innit? <laughs> yeah, but bruv, at the same time. Yeah, bruv, bruv. That can't be unseen. No, bruv, no, that bruv, can't bruv, be unseen. You see me, as I said to you, bruv, yeah. No, 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 no. Bruv, I don't care, bruv. As I said to you, bruv. As I said to you. I didn't even bruv, hear the boys know until I saw your team. Bruv, as I said to you, bruv, innit? <laughs> bruv, I, even, I said to people. I didn't even know nothing about boys know until I saw his thing. You get me? Well, good, bruv, you saw it. So, all right, all right, cool. Go on. What's the current status of this Dutch thing? I don't know, mate. you talking about I think he's cool. Still, but right, you cool. <laughs> right, no, right, cool. But <laughs> what have you madness. seen that makes you like, like, wh- monster what's, what's marv blood? You? Monster marv blood. All right, cool. Monster, monster marv. marv. He's, he's told us what's really gone on. Cool. So he's cool, said, but now he's cool. So you can't unsee what you posted. 
Yeah, so and it's there. What, what can I say, <laughs> bro? It's there. Like <laughs> it's there. What do you have to say to you? Bro? you don't chat shit, bro. Oh, to the team, bro. I don't care, bro. I'll post shit out, bro. Are you mad? Fourteen year old. Well, I said, that, I like, said stop I, we, when team, we bro. spoke <laughs> about what, when we spoke about the Dutch Avelli situation, and then his sister I coming definitely... trying to chat Greece as well. Don't chat shit to me, bro. Man, are oh, you mad? For real, she what? said something to you. Bro, don't start laughing. It's fucking face, man. Seriously, literally. I said, I said because I'm a mum in it, so I had my little thing that I had to say. But obviously. Bro, Steph can't come in my box for and chat and shit, bruv. Like, bruv, if you don't want to do this podcast, bruv, you have to go and mash up the fucking whole airways, bruv, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Then fucking carry on, bro. But <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say to you, look, clearly, bruv, mm. yeah. Dutch's manager come in my inbox. Mm. Fucking mm. Steph come in my inbox. Mm -hmm. And no one else can come in my inbox, bruv, innit? Mm. But it's real. You see me, blood? If there's any allegations about me mm. and any little fucking kid, bruv, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not eyesing on that, innit? Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. out, innit? Shut your mouth. Mm. I'm linking them, I'm suck your girl. So yeah. fucking what, bruv, innit? Mm -hmm. Yeah? But I don't want to hear the rest of it, bruv, innit? Mm. Yeah, as I said, I said it when I put the thing out. If it turns out that what I was saying was wrong, mm. I'll, bruv, I apologise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, bruv, I publicly yeah, apologise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's it, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I stand on it as well. No, no, don't expect techie. us not to have an opinion no, no, when it's yeah, to bruv, do with bruv, children. Bruv, no, no, bruv, it's not techie, Can't bruv. Yeah. It's not techie, yeah, bruv. But you see you me, blood. You didn't tell us that it was the the mum in the beginning. So what did you expect us to bro, think? Bro, just link the mum then, innit, bruv, innit? Like, as I'm saying to you, so what if you're linking the mum? Cool. Mm. But, bruv, you see no, me, if I'm linking a mum or something and it's a drama, nothing can outweigh linking a mum to people <laughs> thinking me linking a 14-year-old girl, innit, bruv, innit? <laughs> but that's a dilemma that's as well. Line, like, what it? would you do? Would you say, would you G up the mum? Or would you, like, make people think that you're... Bruv, I, bruv, I G up like, the mum in and beating the mum, bro. Like, wow, like, I don't want people on. thinking whatever. Like, I'm just saying to mm. you, bruv. But as I'm saying, like, when the whole internet's posting shit, yeah, and it's on every website, bruv, and every other fucking platform with millions of followers, mm. do not try to come in my inbox, bruv, yeah, and fucking treat me like I'm some little idiot pussy or boy, bruv. It's not going to happen, bruv. It, it, it's just not gonna happen, fam. Yeah, cool, man. Back to the youths cause... getting back to the youths getting nabbed and all that, fam. What's going on with that, fam? Can a man them out here? I see the man them out here. Who's who, it's you aspect to do us, bro? Bro, I run the roadside when I'm ready. Yeah. No, but who's them other the two? Come on the roads, who's them other two cut. guys? I see the other two. Who's, it's you aspect. I see a picture going about. And feds are trying to say that you've got bulletproof vest or some. Bro, listen to me. Bad bro, shit, bro. They said what? That you got a bulletproof vest on a Saturday. Alright, cool. Telling yes. Me. Did right, they yeah. say that though? Right, bruv, bruv, they said something about vigilantes, yeah, yeah, yeah. this, that. But my yes, my vest is stab proof. Yes, mm. it, and it is military graded. Mm. Who's the other two guys? You As you should. I don't. Bruv, them other two guys mm. is one you that I know for a long time. I'm not going to say his name. But I don't mm. think he was mm. the name of mm. 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 And the next you, they come with respect. Okay. I was doing my thing in the end. Respect's on the road. How did Mike GOC get involved? Cause I see something going on about. Do you know what it is, fam? I don't know um, what they're doing with Mike JLC. Okay. You understand that? Like, as I'm saying, Raspet, like, right, cool. So you got Raspet there and Forever Family Gang. That's their kind of thing. Do you know what I'm saying? That they mm. do. But obviously, us man's got the same energy in it. So mm. if we're on the roads, we're not just going to be like, no, my man's on the road and not link up in it. Like, mm -hmm. we, like, we're going to link up. Do you get me? Mm. And yeah, man. Just sounds like everyone's had enough in it. So they want to take everyone. Yeah, because I saw something about Mike. Something. I thought Mike was with you lot because I was thinking, I saw Mike post something, but I didn't. As I'm saying, bruv, yeah, let these, like, bruv, let these fools talk about a wise man wearing body armour, bruv, yeah? Mm. Can you tell me, bruv, don't ask me why I'm wearing body armour, yeah? Mm. When the man in Tesco's who's guarding veg is wearing body armour. Do you understand? Like, I walk into alleyways and I pick I up thought, some when, when someone said that to me, I thought, man. I don't get that. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say, like? I don't like take not, it Yeah, do you know what I'm trying to say, like? Bruv, Damn, have you heard what's going on like, out bro, like, bruv, it's not even No, but, no, but, bruv. Like, come bro, on, you should crazy. be wearing body armor. Bruv, it's crazy. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, as I'm saying, bruv. You're out here taking knives off the streets. Bruv, I don't know what body armor everyone else is wearing, yeah? Mm -hmm. As I said, mine's military grade, bruv. Yeah, it's stab proof. And if I throw my plates uh, in it, bruv, it's rifle proof. Yeah, I've got neck guard, going guard, everything. Why? I've been stabbed 18 times, bruv. Mm. But there's not a part of my body I ain't been stabbed in. So mm. I'll rock my body armor. Exactly. Furthermore, bruv, for the very first time I got stabbed, I should have been rocking body armor in it. Mm. And then that'd have been it. But, yeah, man. Each to their own, innit? Yeah, bad. But it's bad though what's going on with the kids, man. Car. Um, I see Scarcity put up something, but he put up something. There was like about twenty six missing children. But someone else was telling me there's bare children that go missing a year mm. and all that in um, in England. So I was even thinking, bro, like, bro, it's just like where's the? Because imagine, like, I don't even want to imagine, but fucking hell, mate. Like, if you see a you, that that just you know what I mean? Just disappears, like. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's not. It's, 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 it's not a joke, man. Fam, 
that's like endless sleepless nights. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not a job, you get me? Like, but you see me, yeah, when it comes like, I just, I, like, I just feel like, in it, like, you see the government, mm. they got their priorities a bit mixed up. Definitely. You see me, bruv, like, they care more about tax evasion and drugs. Basically. You get me? If I was in charge, bruv, yeah, I swear down, bruv, you see if you violate a child, bruv, yeah, mm-hmm. mate, you, you'd be lucky in getting capital punishment. Yeah. Do you get me, fam? I could, well, never, I could, never, be, death, I could never be in charge because they think I'm sick because the way I would torture people that, that, um, that trouble children, like, it wouldn't... I just, oh, yeah, I just, like, yeah, I just feel like me? there's not... I don't know, there's not a slower death that you can have personally, like, if you take people's kids, steal people's kids, kill people's kids, like, things like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm not into it. Big up Magnum, though. <laughs> but yeah, um, mm, it's crazy. Yeah, no. get into the next one. Yeah, you told me what's going on. Cause right. I don't want to stay on that kid thing too long, Kai. Just get me mad, fam. So the next one. But big up, though. For what you lot are doing. Yeah, I that still. definitely. That's like, you know what I mean? That's official shit. So <clears throat> another thing is basically the Daily Mail. Mm. They posted about Tion Wayne and Russ Millions. You know their tune that's yeah, gone yeah. number one, yeah. Body. And um, they said basically that um, it's a soundtrack to... Basic Daily Mail said it's a soundtrack to murder. For the first time, a gangland drill track is at number one, spreading a message of hatred and violence, violent revenge being echoed in the playgrounds across the country. So why is the BBC promoting it? What's you lot's thoughts? Boy... Me, if you ask me, it's like, so what? Not even like that. It's not, they're making the music. Mm. They're not buying their own music. Mm. This is what the public's buying. They've made it number one. Mm-hmm. It's not their fault. They're making music what they like to make. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? They're going to studio. They're doing what they want to do, what they feel. To, do you get what I'm trying to say? They're not, everybody else is listening. That's what they like. They need to be looking at. The people yeah, in their Nicki country. Minaj could have they, they need to be looking at. Jump onto but she jumped on Skilly Bangs. Not, on, not only team. that, not only that, but it's like we seem to forget sometimes because it's like they say, "Oh, drill this, drill that, and all that." I get it, but you got, um, you know, like heavy metal and all that. Like they worship the devil. Like they're, they're devil worshippers. Like ain't that a problem when they reach number one and all that? Mm. Like they worshiping the devil and drug taking. You like, get kids that are all constantly so overdosing and what's stuff like that. I've got my thoughts. I say after. What do you think, Aaron? Can I ask you two both a question? Mhm. Uh, did any of you watch Karate Kid? Mhm. Mm. Did you any of you find yourself standing with both arms in the air and one leg up? Yeah, yeah. I, I've kicked someone still. I, I've done a few of them Karate Kids. Why did still. you do that? Uh, because at that time in your age. Just that was the thing, innit? Back then. But at that time, back in the day, Karate Kid days, I remember that big people music was big people music and kid stuff was kid stuff. Yeah, but. And I also remember listening to Tupac, Biggie, and everything. It more so was like a mood, but it didn't make me want to do exactly what they was doing. Like music to me, they well, music apparently is supposed to reflect the environment and the times, and. You don't go in a studio, create the music, then act like the music. It comes from an energy and it comes from already what you're seeing. It's not music. If you ask somebody about why they're violent, yeah, you'll never, and you speak to a therapist, they'll never tell the therapist, if you go down into the issues of that person, it's not gonna be music while they're, why they're like that. It's normally because of how what happened in their house, their house growing up. Was they abused? What they saw? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not music. It can be part of something, but it's not just that. Music contributes to the mood that you're in because it 100%. provokes something. When I listen to music, it takes me back to a time. You know, like you can listen to something from back in the day and you remember what you was doing then. Like how you're doing what you're doing you wouldn't be as passionate for what you're doing if you didn't go through what you went through. These are all boys saying what's going on in the world. 100%. And listen. music isn't the reason for that. Music highlights what is happening. The media are blaming um, young boys expressing themselves. Art isn't a, meant to be right or wrong, it's an expression. I don't agree with glorifying, but these young people, I'm an artist, we're just expressing ourselves 
it's a it's a there's a bigger picture to that yeah do you understand what no i'm saying no one can ever say that someone ain't expressing themselves in music yeah. can it and as you said you got two pack you got you Biggie, love you scarface got this, you got did you turn listen, into scarface no, 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 that's one no, of the no, most no, no, no. classic listen, movies right, listen, do you understand I, listen to this boys in listen the hood new jack right, city let me tell you something though i never turned to scarface yeah but trust me i've done certain things bruv to be on a Scarface level. You could relate Listen, no, to no, Scarface because no, 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 of I'm the times you, that we're in no, and what, what you saw. What I'm trying saw. to say to you is this. You see me, as a child when I grew up, yeah, I believe children are very impulsive and I believe children are naive. Yeah? Mm-hmm. When Definitely. Karate Kid came out, I was trying to do Karate Kid kicks. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. When Robocop come out, I was walking around making a son, um, I mean the sound of Robocop's feet, and I was telling mm-hmm. him, man, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Do you mm-hmm. understand? Yeah? To this day right now, if you go on my playlist, bro, yeah, mm-hmm. You will hear my song. Like, mm-hmm. but, I, but I listen to drill music. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? I mm-hmm. like vibes. Yeah? But as I'm saying to you now, I believe if anyone wants to sit down and say that anything that someone aspires to or mm-hmm. rapper, mm-hmm. if you don't believe that the person will want to imitate that mm. to some sort of degree, that's not true. Yeah? Mm. So as I'm saying to you now, look, I've got more than a million savings. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You can still get a shaving. If I ever get stopped by the ops, which my nan start waving. He, where's Brother, a listen. lie? If no, you it's see not somebody and they come listen, up to you, it's not a and lie. somebody approaches As you, I'm saying, it's it's what are you going to do? It's not a lie. And that's the life that it's he art, lives. But when you're watching a movie, do you go to the Bro. directors and say, stop making those films? Listen, stop making those, those computer games. Yeah, they he's keep that. highlighting it because it's he's black boys that. making that's money. That's the you're talking about. That Tia 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 Wayne, that Tia's hard. Bro, the reason I, I, I just thought like, like, it is, it is, it is. Can, it can is. I say something to you? But they are highlighting too much on musicians, young musicians, yeah? And it's like, where is the parents growing their kids? Artists ain't growing your kids right, enough. Right, where's the artists is, kids. yeah? Cool. When where's I, the artists is saying, yeah, cool. I live this life, brother, yeah? I do this. Mm. But look, man, I'm saying to you, brother, yeah? You don't want that smoke. Mm. Go bang your tune. I just don't see no one giving back that. Hey, so is that the number one, yeah? <laughs> no, but, but I, yeah. I'm saying yeah, shit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, shit. Hey, it's, it's a tune. No, but that's what's going on in London right now. That's not the only thing that's going on. That's not the only thing that's going on. Yeah, shit. 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 Yeah, Anything that they find as a passion no, or they look up to, bruv, yeah, they're going to it's be true. They're definitely, persuaded they're definitely and guided some, into some sort of action. Some definitely 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 and I'm not saying, bruv, a man 100%. shouldn't chat what he's lived, bruv. How could you, bruv? Mm. But as I'm saying to the man, then, when it comes to draw rappers, it's this, bro. It's either people chatting their real, real life, yeah, mm. and it's either they've gone to jail for that madness or mm. they don't care about what they're saying, yeah, mm. or certain men are... Um, Flipping, just raw snitching themselves, just saying what they're doing, or but people are actually lying to just be that guy. Do you understand, fam? Mm. But as I'm saying to people, bruv, yeah, and I'm, but I'm talking about like rappers that don't even push controversial music, fam. Mm. But you see this young little generation here, bruv, yeah, they're the people that is buying the music. They're the people that man's gonna be collaborating with in the next five to ten years. You know, mm. do you know what I'm saying, bruv? Mm. Like preserve the, the generation. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm. But as I'm saying, bruv. I will never not stand by, yeah, young little youths mm. who's naive mm-hmm. that listen to certain lyrical content, mm. yeah, and don't follow. As I said, I bruv, yeah, so. I've got nothing against rappers mm. or what they lived and all that. Mm. I've got something against certain lyrical content. Bruv. Definitely. Mm. That's it. And when it comes to naive little kids as well, like, that, that's another thing, like, so certain naive little kids, we've got to go back again because why are they naive? why isn't do you know understand like these are things that you have to kind of as a parent or you know like your support system kind of has to help to instill into you because my mum instilling to me to be headstrong in it be a leader not a follower mm. we have that to st- we have to teach people to be leaders not followers you might not in- you might enjoy something but that doesn't mean that that has to be your whole thing do you know what I mean? Do you know what it is? Art is meant to just tell, you know. So do you think it don't contribute at all towards I them? Didn't, I totally agree with you. I said okay. it does contribute. Mm. I said that That's what I'm it's saying, highlighted. Like, got, I said yeah. it contribute. I don't think it's the total no reason. No way. But like listen, I said, it's a it way. It can't I, be the total exactly. reason, isn't it? There's so many. Listen, you know as you said, I, yeah, mm. the way people live, mm-hmm. people want to get money. Mm-hmm. People want to sell drugs. People get disrespected. And there's emotions. There's relationships. Do you understand? And I don't think that people want to get up and just want to do violent things, neither. If it's Some people do. rap, and I said it, not everybody. Be I don't like think like that is just what is alluring <laughs> to it. 
it's the lifestyle that comes around it. If those are the things that are going to number one, because everybody wants it and stuff like that, they know that they're going to be getting money and things like that. That's what everybody money likes. What Do you understand is. what I'm saying? I don't think it's just that. I just feel like they aspire to, you know, that lifestyle. As but, I said um, in it, like, I can't, like, it, it's just a big, see, drill music, it's just a big catch 22, man. Because I'm not going to sit down there like, we've got to take, we've got to take music, accountability in it. Just, Obviously, yeah. as an artist, you know what it is, fam. Obviously, man's just spitting what they're spitting, innit? Mm. But at the same time, we've got to take accountability because it's like some people do, but it's like we can't, we can't control that. Do you get what I'm trying to I say? Think. Some people, some people's gonna follow Karate Kid. Some people's gonna follow a next madness. Exactly. That's, do you get what I'm trying to say? That's in that person. It's like what Cream says. Like, there's something else that even made them mad enough to follow. That's that. great. Exactly. Do you get what I'm saying? When it comes to rappers, bro, yeah, mm. you could be in like the top three, bro, yeah, for mm. chatting the maddest things mm. consistently, right? Mm. Now, you've been spray right now. Mm. Do you feel like it would damage your reputation? Or your rapper name to say to the youth, hey fam, you managed to just calm down a bit, man. No, but that, that's what I'm doing now. Okay. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's what I'm doing now, but to be fair, that's what I'm saying now, or whatever, yeah. But I couldn't rap that. Because it's like, no one don't want to hear that. Do you get what I'm trying yeah, to say? That's not what man want to hear. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And it's like, that's not what we wanted to hear. That's not what you got on your playlist. On your playlist, if I look on your playlist. No, but bruv, no, 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 little baby tells, bruv, no, no, no. little baby tells man to vote and all that as well. Like, he does it, bruv. He, bruv, he, he chats about drugs like, I'm just saying, bro, innit? Like, I just don't feel like it's going to be as damaging, bruv, yeah, to drop a tune, bruv, and then even to do a fucking Instagram. Do you know why I've stopped, do you know why I've even stopped kind of rapping or whatever, yeah? Because I know, if I go in the booth, I'm going to spit madness. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's like. That's my whole thing, so it's like, I don't even want to do that, because it's like, I'm not even on that really, right now. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, I, but I know my brain's just going to say madness if I go in there, because that's what it knows about, is madness. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so, but, but I know that, innit? That's do you get what I'm trying to say? So, but that's what I'm trying to say, and it's like, people are like, oh yeah, what the fuck? So like, you why believe you get now, back in the boot? Why you get so back you in the boot? Like, now that you're saying to a young guy, yeah, mm. like, brother, like, that's not the best way to live, yeah? Mm. Like, you can't basically be a rapper now. Nothing no, that's, on that. not, that's not that's not what I believe. I'm just telling you that's how I feel. I can't okay. go in. I can't because I can go in there and spit madness easily, and it will sound heavy and hard. But that's just not what I'm on right now. I'm Mr. RTM, so I've got to be really the most to myself. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's like well, I think with, real, with, with with RTM Volume One, RTM like North Star, all that. That's real. So it's like I don't want to destroy my legacy. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's like if you want to hear spray, he's there. He's there. Spray, he's there. Do you get what I'm saying? That proper spray. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it don't if for me to start rapping again, I'd have to make meals and that. Cause I wanna rap about money and other stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you've heard that spray, you've heard that struggle spray and that mad spray and shooting spray. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'd wanna let you hear some Jay Z spray. But everyone's got a different saying? like everyone's got a different like history mm. and a journey in it, so like, everyone knows what's for them, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Flipping T on Wayne, big up, big up them look yeah. though, for that number one. No, but the tune bangs, fam. You can't say it don't bang in it. Like, do you know what I'm saying? And you can't really just chat about it. That's that specific was a good tune. look for the industry. You, get you can't look at it. You can't just chat about it. one specific tune when there's thousands of Joe tunes. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that was for how long? But I'm just saying, regardless, like, there's many contributing factors to the current state of the way these children are acting right now at this time, and I believe that Joe music's one of them. Mm. As well as the government, as well as the fucking. So look, the, all the rest you know what? Parenting, yeah. parenting yeah. is nice. high on the list, though. Parenting is high on the list because yeah. if I be honest, my youth listen to Bear Joe and all that, and he's. Do you get what I'm saying? Even I talk about computer games and mm. all that stuff because I mm. say computer games um, desensitizes them mm. to like stabbings and all that because it's mm. like they're stabbing up the place on the game. There's bare blood. It's mad. It's normal for them. They're growing up in that world there, but it's like it's parenting as well because it's like. He's doing all of that, but then he's got the right, like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, my mm. baby mother ain't gonna make him yeah. be on madness. She's on to him, do you get what I'm saying? Like, do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's parenting as well. Sometimes, if you leave them to their own madness, they might end up mad. Yeah. But you have to parenting watch your kids. Thing, man. You have to watch your kids. Do you think that. And you have to know when they're changing and, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, do you think ageism in music has got a big part to play in it? Because when ageism. Like nowadays, all of the charts and music is dominated by young people. 
and if you're in your learning yeah. stage and you're adapting to life stage the message that you're going to put out is like, going to be uh, you. if we're talking about because you know then, yeah. back in the day we used to have older artists yeah. and stuff yeah. like that so there was different messages yeah. like you know ice cube started out with fuck the police exactly so to the police to people in another class they would have yeah. looked at him as a menace yeah yeah look yeah. at him now of course because we've seen his journey mm. when we look at the f the police we look at him highlighting the environment of what was going on in it mm. we don't look at him as the as somebody that you're going to make a, your other kids say f the police do you get what i'm yeah, saying hey, hey. when you're now looking when you're looking back to what he was that, to what he is now and yeah. that's what i think is going to happen but you see with, with ages them right now because I, when these kids get older mm. their message is going to be different but if they get rid off by the time they're 30 in music, how are they going to be able to spread I a message like what's saying? With ageism, what you just said with ageism, remember, with ageism, that means there's a certain age of the artist. With mm. a certain age of the artist, I mean, with a certain age of the artist, can differentiate in the context or the life they're living. Mm. But remember, whatever age the artist is, his fan base ain't too far behind. Mm. Right? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, how impressionate is that music or the message that they're sending out? And how is that going to affect that person, that 15 year old age, that 15 year old, by 15 years down the line, at 30 years old, that artist may have matured. But as I'm saying, the collateral damage in between that, <laughs> yeah, from a 15 year old to the age of 13, <laughs> might be doing a to the outside, by now. do you understand? And that's what yeah. I'm saying, it's like, uh, yeah, ageism, bruv. Mm. I think it's just, no, but a, see, that, see, that goes both with ways with ageism, 50, 50, with me, I just think, even obviously, man's getting on, but you know what it is, blood? See, with everything, in life, blood. Do you get what I'm saying? There's a time in it that mm. you just you can't. I can't mix and blend with you. So whatever. Mm. There's a time. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So it's like even with with football, you get a time where you're getting on. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Thirty five or whatever they're getting on. Do you get what I'm saying? With anything, any profession, you get you got you got you get to your prime, and then you move some people's primes later. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. But that's what I think. Like. Even though I don't do music and stuff, like when you can see an artist, yeah, that starts young, and you can tell the lyrical content stays there, but they slowly transition into a point in their life where they're older, they're still respectable, they're still doing music, they're still doing numbers. Do you know what I'm saying? Like mm. talking about like Jay Z or something. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like I feel like that's that's good ages. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? very. But, like that's a positive transition in that, and like I do believe that there's artists that have done it in the UK, and that. And I, and I do believe that artists that still do it. Like I believe that Heady One's elevated to a mm -hmm. level from that to like an official level where yeah. he pick can, up Heady One yeah, you know and Small saying? God. They just so got it's a just that I just believe well. that the people them that have gone through the ages and, and the positive transition to the point, yeah, that they can maintain their music, enjoy music from Greece to the point they're at a professional level, still be able to chat subtle Greece, mm -hmm. but be cool. Do you know what I'm saying, brother? Mm -hmm. And then you can see that maybe in the next 10, 15 years, they be able to put music out that's neutral, but everyone respects it because of. Do you know they done it right do you know mm, what i'm saying mm, mm. so yeah man i just believe that there's a fine line and some people are doing it right and some people are mm. do you get me i'm mm. still in a fence mm. but yeah, yeah i'm just still on you go to the studio you make your music it's not down to you like see, do you get what i'm trying to say yeah. you're just spitting your story and it's like it's therapy in it to a lot of them as well because it was to me in it so they just going in there mm -hmm. having their little therapy session do you get what i'm trying to say or what it is what what's obvious is that do you know what i mean their generation that's I just remember yeah the music the when it goes out to people as well yeah and people listen to it that's the people's therapy as well yeah, yeah, yeah no, but you know see I mean? enough of these see how did that get to number one because there's not like a million there's not bare gangsters out here so it's like it's bare dickheads as well it's bare normal chiefs just do you know what i mean but, 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 so but, 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 i that song yeah that song has got a bit of like, violence it's not, but, but, but yeah, for me that's mean, more of a gang tune that tune I got thought vibes. it was more of a gang tune to that, be like, fair yeah that's what I'm saying but to me it's just a vibey tune a vibey yeah. tune a vibey tune it's been tune. niggas on TikTok it ain't got too much and they're changing the yeah but that's like rough heavy like, like Bro, that's like rough when he's saying, so he says they got Ben Alba, you get me, he's saying mad things in that, It's just normal people, do you get what I'm saying, they're enjoying the song, they're enjoying it, you get what I'm saying, they're enjoying it though, they're not thinking, oh I'm going to go out and stab nothing, 
They're just mm. doing madness for TikTok. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? RD versus going mad on their Adiola or whatever. Yeah, but you can't really... Bro, bro, there's much yeah. more drill tunes with much more violence glorification than that tune. To me, that tune's got vibes. It's got a little bit of bad thing. But, bruv, it's done well, bro, man. Like, And you've mm. got a rate, innit? Like, bruv, I played a song, in it. I'm not mm. trying to say that, but I was talking on drill as a whole. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. I'm not trying to call out no one or no mm, one song. Mm, mm, do you understand? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And that's it. Yeah, no, but that's that's just their that's their, their music because it's like what did we grow up on, fam? And when you check it deeply, what was we listening to? But you're still here trying to take knives off the streets. It didn't make you go mad. Do you get what mm. I'm trying to say? And I know. Do you get what I'm saying? Two pack them and they, they were saying madness blood. Mm. In between good stuff, they were saying madness mm. blood. Like, mm-hmm. I was listening to madness. I don't know, but you see even even them, Bashman, I was listening aye, to madness. Aye, 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 bro. I was listening to aye. madness blood. Do you get what I'm saying? Bro, man is listening to packing them man the hearts mm-hmm. though. But I feel like... Because this is the madness, bro. Hey, brother, you see the way that... But, right, look, you see rappers. Don't no, you feel like they spoke <laughs> a lot about gun mm. crime? Do you feel like that? Obviously, because that's what was going on. That was going on, it. Mm. But do you feel like get, getting a strap, mm. do you think it's as easy and as accessible as getting a, a zombie killing rap? Like, it's not. Do you mm. know what I'm saying, bro? And mm. I just feel like... Forget the rap thing. I just feel like the whole knife thing right now, it's just so easy and trendy for man. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm. It's just there. It's just on their hips. It's easy to get. Mm. Like, man, no, but if I get caught with a burnout, bro, man's getting birded. Do you know what I'm saying, But bro? in America, bro, it's no whole... easy to get get guns. Yeah, but gu- that's what I'm saying. It's different, though, because you can go to the shop so and buy a rap. Glock for £700. Yeah, pounds. so with the same with the rap. That you know is saying? like no, the drill. But, but in America, it's a mad thing over yeah. there. Man, are getting clapped down the front and mm. centre. 100%. Mm. That's going on down there. Mm. It's just peas. It's not. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. Yeah, but bruv, come on. Yeah. No, but it's it, 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 but that Glock you can get in America because there's shops there for seven bills, bruv. Over here, that's cost you three and a half grand, bruv. Mm. Man, they ain't got money like that, bruv. Mm. That's the, what it is. The youth just ain't got a piece. If the government, if the government, but me, oh, certain of them things I see them rolling with, blood. I just think, what the hell, bruv? You don't know how easy for them to get that. You're better so off. Easy, you're better bro. off with a little two pop or something. Brother, you can go into the end of there, and that's coming for your. Post next day delivery, mm. but like that, it's, 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 it's normal to them. Huh. And right now, the truth is, yeah, even worse than that, it's not even illegal, fam, to buy and sell knives like that. That's what's mad about mm. it. The main subject is knife crime, still. Bruv, 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 the government's full of shit, man. Still, bruv, 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 the mm. government, it's the government, fam, because mm. I see things, yeah, that the government can do, bruv, yeah. That's that what I was just, just going to ask you. There was one thing mm. that on you, if you could do, you know if you could change, what would it be? Right, straight away, buying and selling knives is illegal. Bro, it's just so mad how That's it's so it. easily mm. just delivered. You know what I'm saying, them. bro? It's delivered to them. Like I can't even say certain things, yeah, mm. because it's actually like tell oh, people what yeah, they can they're do. They're gonna be like, okay, but, bro, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how easy. It is. Yeah, that's how easy. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying, bro? And yeah. like, no, but I don't know if I want a ZK. I could get that way more easier Easy. than, than an AK. Easy. You get what I'm trying to say? You can get four of them and just walk down like madman. Yeah, but, you t- yeah, but like, listen, exactly. Listen to what you lot are saying. The same mm. way like in America, yeah? Mm. When they kept talking about gun crime, gun crime, but they're flooding guns. Exactly. In, and they're not making them illegal. Exactly. So all of this blaming drill, blaming drill, when you're saying that the government could easily just ban nope. them. They I'm what not they blaming want. drill, as like I they, said. Like, there's things that they're doing that's 10 times worse than drill. Like, they can easily put a stop to certain things and they haven't. Listen, I'm they not, need as to I said, be held accountable as well. As I said, yeah, I believe drill is a contributing factor for the way the kids act, yeah? Mm-hmm. The government is the biggest mm-hmm. problem. Because they're the biggest. That's it, like straight up and down. They govern the country and they know what I want. Bro, they care more about uh, the buying and selling of alcohol and cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Like, if you was in your yard and you were selling alcohol and cigarettes in your back garden, bruv, trust me, customs would be up in your ass mm. and you'd be getting the biggest fines and putting a sentence. Do you understand? Mm. They're letting these little you. Uh, well, right, listen, let me break it down to you. Mm. People are registering businesses, yeah, and they're selling knives. Do you understand that? Mm. They're doing their books every year for selling knives. Mm. Huh. It, and they're selling an old heap of You feel me? They're selling an old heap of knife. Can you imagine? Yeah? Mm. So, the way I see it is this, bruv, like, you can't even fix a problem that the people in charge of the problem ain't stopping. Do you understand? Exactly. So, you as I'm said, bruv, like, you know what you said about parenting? Mm. Contributing factor. Mm. Mm. The government, contributing factor. Mm-hmm. The way the police deal with people, contributing factor. Mm-hmm. Dual music to me, 
Contribute factor. Yeah. No, but it's the truth. Yeah, yeah. It's just a poor yeah. yeah, it's all, all a part of it. Yeah. And that's what I say. Yeah, yeah. I but agree. Anyone that sits down and says it's just drill music, no. you're, wrong. you're mm. wrong. Anyone says it's just the parents, you're, you're wrong. wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God, it takes a village. They say it takes a village to raise a kid. That's what they say, isn't it? And that's what happens, bruv. So everyone needs to actually just really check Wagwan because you know what? Where do you think our future doctors and lawyers and football stars are all coming from? What do you think they come at their mum's womb with football boots and bruv? It don't happen. Do you get me? So. And the fact you can walk down the road, yeah, and see fucking free betting shops there before you see any sort of child interventions, you just kind of know what the government's about, innit? Exactly. Do you know what I mean, bro? A painter ain't a painter without his tools. Yeah, that's it, man. So, you get me? Yeah, no, it's mad still. Mm. But now nah, the knife crime team, we're going to get fully into that. What, what oh. other um, um, current affairs are we going to get back on that? Are you, are what, you revolting again? Are you involved? You know what, yeah? I'm not going to lie, yeah? I kind of missed the boat with that one still. But did you see you? my daughter? Mm. Mm. She ain't playing no games, man. She so ain't. did she lose money the other day? When you know what? She told me She told me the stocks went down. Mm. But I don't know what she really done. But I'm not going to sit down in front like I know what's going on. Mm. But I end up, that phone call basically end up with me telling that I should invest now because the stocks are down. Mm, exactly. Because it might get better. Yeah. Exactly. My whole and thing is yeah. how can you lose yeah. if you yeah. haven't sold anything? Yeah. yeah. I just you guys lost a, like a few hundred pounds, but it was only no, like a few saying, hundred pounds. No, but I'm saying, how can you lose back. if you haven't sold anything? Because it could go back up. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That guy, Chunks, yeah. he lost 274k. Yeah. Yeah. Like but you know what? It's crazy, man, because money. like... Yeah, but I must see people in the I don't first know, place. I don't know. But I saw that there was like everywhere. Yeah, like, is that profit or is that your loss? Do you know what I'm saying? But you, know what what you see me, it's like, I'm a kind of like, see it to believe it kind of guy. Like, I like my cash still, you get me? Because see me fam like, I'm, might just I'm, all like, I'm for the crypto and all that but my whole thing is like and crypto crypto where's all the millionaires where's, the, where's everyone's pee can you see what it is like yeah right, but look cool. at bitcoin crypto, back in the day who, everybody that heavy, invested heavy, back winning, in the right? day everybody, they're everyone's winning, winning right now so. everyone's winning but can everyone show me everyone that's winning from crypto and then I'm in it I'm involved yeah, but they're not like, going to see it yet yeah yeah nah, cool but it's right now it's, though, right now it's nuts isn't it but I'm saying I'm on that because obviously my sister's husband, she, he's telling me, but mm. do you know what I mean? Yeah, like I can't talk too much in it. Yeah, I'm just, just a man that, yeah, yeah. I'm just I've always been a man that I'd rather product, mm. get my money, like do you get what I'm trying to say? Like yeah. whether it be food or whatever. Oh, but chat to I'm Danny Malone that. about that, people. You know I mean? <laughs> Danny Malone's just, he's on that currency thing and he's saying that he's winning with it right now so. yeah no no really? it's, it's, yeah. it's a big look still it's a big look but I if you know what you're doing innit? Bro, i just feel like the, bro, eventually i feel like everything's gonna be but it's like anyway, the trading innit? thing so innit? the trading is like we're trading yeah. yeah my whole thing with trading come on bridging does trading and all that but it's like to me it's like gambling do you yeah, get what i'm trying to say because I, I tell him and he argues with me because he's like no it's not gambling right but i'm saying you got professional gamblers bro that they're professional they know they win more than they lose innit? it because oh. they're professional gamblers you get what I'm trying to say? Big up DL, my G. They're professional gamblers. They win more than they lose. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Then it's like with the training team, you got, because they've learned it or whatever, that's why they're going through, innit? Because mm-hmm. uh, they're professional at what they do, innit? Yeah. But it seems like gambling to me, and I just ain't got time. All right, so this, this is what, yeah? Mm-hmm. So regarding knife crime, yeah? Recently, this is why I, like, I question the, like, the government's energy. So the Home Office, yeah, recently, mm-hmm. like in last year... <laughs> Man went straight to knife crime. Go on, fam. Yeah, no, go on. I'm going. No, no, Yeah, no, but you want to know this. No, no, go on, go on. Last this, year, November, yeah, mm-hmm. the Home Office rolled out a weapons amnesty, innit? Mm. But the amnesty, yeah, if you had anything over the value of £30, mm-hmm. you could basically get your money back for it. I thought, that's dope. But when I really read into it, yeah, it was... This, this weapon amnesty, it weren't aimed at the community, bruv. It was mm. aimed at the people that sell knives. Do you understand? Mm. But, and guess how I checked that out? They, you had to fill out a 14 page form, hmm. have proof of address and ID. Bear madness. Mm. That they use yeah. doing. They're not doing that. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah bear madness that yeah, they're not doing. Have proof of purchase. Hmm. I was like, that's mad. Mm. Then when I read into it more, it's like this is for retailers and did Exactly, this is just a so like, wait there. So all these people off. that's been selling knives into the community for however how long, yeah. They're claiming mm. nothing. They've got a chance now, yeah. And remember, they're not running the amnesty forever, you know. They're only mm. running it from that last year, the end of last year, to to the early part of this year, March uh, March I think it stopped. Mm. And I just sat down and thought, you know what? All these people sat down selling knives into the community for years, yeah. Bare bloodshed. Then they just basically the government said after this happens, 
this amnesty, mm. we're going to install the legislation where everything, the buying and selling becomes illegal. Do you understand? But we're going to give you a chance to basically mm. handle your weapons in. Mm. Bro, I'm like, raw. So these times now, I'm just sitting there and thinking, wait there. So what is the government doing here mm. to remove all the knives that's now in the community that these people sold to the community with these yeah. little naive children? Because these ones ain't coming off the road. And if they, they know, the and, yeah. and, and if they, and if mm. the, if they know now that um, is soon going to be illegal, don't you think that but they're going to pump as much that, out as much as possible yes, now but, as well? Yes, of course they will. But even that worse than that as well, money. yeah. Would you believe that the police didn't even think it's their duty, yeah, or the Home Office to tell everyone about this? Hmm. But this means this year I cream. This means this spray. You see, if you got had like a little knuckled after sitting in your yard for two years mm. and it's not illegal, you see, if feds come to your yard to chat about your cat or something and they sit knuckled after, oh, you spray, who's knuckled after that? Mm. It's mine, nicked. Mm. It's illegal now. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? But they're not telling no one this. Yeah. Yeah, but that's yeah. my argument. I'm having police officers in Scotland Yard. Like, I get peer peer people like, oh, my man works with the feds, bruv. Listen, the feds are my biggest problem right now. Mm. My biggest problem since I started, bruv. But <laughs> yeah. I've, got, but I've got a voice note right now of a mm. police officer telling me, oh yeah, Faz Amnesty is illegal. The top <laughs> feds, you get me? I'm saying, yo, wait there, mate. I said, hey, no, you're going mad. I said to him, wait there. They I want said, some of John Terry's money. Bro, I, 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 <laughs> I was like, I was like, hang on, Jim. I, 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 I was like, hang on. I was like, when I read mm. your all forty six pages of your legislation mm. from Annex A B right up to F, yeah, mm. I can't see anything that I'm doing as Faz Amnesty that makes what I'm doing illegal. Mm. He's like. Uh, 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 uh. I said, because I'm not buying, I'm not storing. Mm. Mm. And I'm taking straight to, um, straight to the station, concealed. I mm. can't even believe they'll even have a problem with what yeah. they're doing. So I said, on. what's the problem? He's like, uh, uh, I've You're making back them you. look bad. That's the problem. Mm. Yeah. That's the problem. You're so doing what they should be doing. Now he's come true, literally two days ago, emailed me about, oh yeah, he thinks he's found a solution. So I'm quite intrigued to see what this solution is going to be. Because the bottom line is this. I met you put it in police, man. You better arrest me, man, or something, man, because... Mm. I ain't doing nothing wrong, man. Yeah, and you're not stopping. And you're not stopping. Saying, no, you're not stopping. I'm not stopping for what? <laughs> yeah, and you're not stopping. Bro, I'm not stopping, you man. You I'm saying? Huh? Why would I? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a journey, innit? So, but we rate you. We got you. You get what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. My brothers. The my public sister. got yeah. you. You get what I'm saying? The public got you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, do you know what? I'll be real, yeah? It's like, you see this thing that I'm doing? is And as you say, the public and the people, man, I'm not going to lie, bruv, like... Mm. If I had to describe them as something, mm. I'd be like, "Damn, man's petrol." Come yeah. on, you know, fam. I saw one of the comments on, and they said, um, you know what I'm saying? They're on. needs to be protected at all yeah, costs." Yeah, you got to tell them. And I thought to myself, "They, you know what I'm saying?" Give me some comments, yeah. yeah. And it's just like, don't give yeah. me they're nice comments. Yeah, but, but you just feel you're not going to keep going. But one man said to me the other day, um, "You know that big statue that made out of knives?" Mm. Then one person commented, "I heard Farron." Um, handcrafted this house, <laughs> <laughs> my, but my most recent one was this I heard that you and um, that jacket that you wear and Batman's cape was made in the same fashion <laughs> <Fuck, laughs> no. yeah that's lit yeah man so do you know what Bob? and I just believe that a lot of my interactions mm. to and forth it's all positive it's all yeah. good and like I just hope that little you see that you get me you can get good interaction and good love man mm. and of like for doing the right things, you get me. But me personally, I feel like, bro, trying to like trying to do good in this world, yeah, is much harder than doing bad. Like mm. it's easy to be bad. It's easy to be lazy. It's so easy, easy to do the wrong thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so if easy. you can do the right thing when you can, man, just do it, man. That's what I'm you saying. Know? It's always harder to do the right thing. Always. That's what I keep it's telling you. It's, more, do you get it's, it's always harder to mm. do the right thing because you know what I mean. It's easy to do the, the wrong thing. Trust me. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, anything else recent car? Um, no, that was it on the co- on, on the, the current, current yeah. Do what happened with Nas on that? I don't I think that was a co- I, I saw it on like, no, someone's um. Interesting. I yeah. saw it on on some on something, but I don't know if it when it happened. Let me pull it up. So it said um. Some rig morale, you get me. Some what? baby mother drama. So what? basically, I saw a post, yeah. And it said he's given her over eight million in child support over eighteen years. Mm. Speak on it. So Nas 
Nazi's daughter's mum, Carmen Bryan, is jobless and allegedly homeless because her child support checks have stopped coming in since their daughter turned 18. This is all alleged to be, and because I don't know, mm-hmm. yeah, which leads us to our um, the speak on it. Nas is rich, so, um, so should he take care of his daughter's mum, or is she on her own now that the child is 18 years old? Uh, boom. F- first one I'm going to say, yeah. Ruka, you couldn't do that with 8 million. 8 mil. No, I'm just thinking that, that's 8 mil thing, yeah? mm-hmm. over 18 years. Before. And for two, to be real, bruv, Nas done what he's doing, in it, bruv? And what I would personally do at that point, bruv, I'll just take my daughter from there on, innit? Anything you want, daughter, you got it. Mm. And that's just me, bruv. I ain't got too much to say in it. I don't know what happened in and out of the relationship, why Nas want to do that. But, bruv, 8 mm. million pounds, yeah? In 18 hell? years. And you, you know and, I mean? and, and you ain't got a yard to sit in. Like, you're homeless. Yeah, you're homeless. What was you doing homeless. with 8 mil? Yeah, because I notice it says she's homeless because child support checks have stopped coming in. Okay. So, because I'm good as if I if something happened why she lost their money and it was out of her control, then obviously maybe. Yeah. But if it's yeah, just because you were sitting on your ass relying on those checks, on rent house. then yeah, boy, eight 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 mil. Mil. yeah, that's eight what she million. does. She could have flipped that out of it eight million. The ways. Relationship. Do you know what I mean? It depends on the relationship. Because obviously, if you're still cool with your baby mother or whatever, that's standard. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But no child enjoys watching at their, their parents, parents suffer, do you get what suffer. Do you know what and I mean? yeah, but kids come, that kids that no, go no, no. from one extreme to another when they're children is traumatic All right. so you mm. see like if you go to daddy's house mm-hmm. everything's top tier yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. and mom then when you mental. go to mum yeah. do you think they're okay Come on, no, right. never hey. And hey. the, a mum has to be at her best. Anybody has to be at their know, best to give their stories. best. Right, cool. So right, the mum of your child you has to be at her best to mm. give your child their best. Yeah, and but that yeah, but yeah, but being comfortable. Even if you yeah, don't even like the girl, yeah. See, hey. Nas, yeah. Nas got enough money to just say, all right, hold that, you. I know, but listen. Hold that, you. But listen, that's probably why, bruv. She probably lived tip top for eighteen years, eight mil. That's what it was. She mm. probably lived like that. Mm. Do you understand? But you know what it is? You just take she it got down. So comfortable. You take it down. You just give her like a couple quid. Ain't that the one that Jay Z spoke on? I don't, bruv. Like, like, to me, yeah, I can't speak on that. Like, I don't the first know. I heard it. But as I'm saying, bruv, eight million pound, bruv. Just give like, her a couple quid a month. Like, you get what I'm saying? He's got I don't heat. know whether he done it oh, wrong, just, whether he I mean, should have just bought a yard at the eight mil and said, oh, that. Do you get mm. me? And then kind of. He's just got enough money to just, you know what? Fuck it. So, should he help out? He should help the daughter, not her. Cause it's Nas, he should. Is what I'm saying. What about if, if it's, it's spray? Just, if it's no, but it depends on on how much pee you got. Type of. Thing. But what if it's spray though? No, and, and you peed up, bro. T- then you should. Of course you should. Cause why do you want your you? You said help it. I'd help the daughter. Why do you want your Helping the daughter, mum, it also could. Yeah, but why do you want the daughter? She's eighteen, mum, like, on her own now. Yeah, but what's that? But, but what is she doing? I feel like the daughter's pretty mad at the mum right now, right now as well. No, but you know what? Like I said, it depends on. She could, she could, yeah, but we don't know mean, what issue she's got. She might have. Me, I, just, I just can't see it though, anyway. I can't see any of my children. I'll just position, say, I'll just say, just if you got the pee, what's the problem? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Why just did shut you up, blow man, eight million? A, you know what I mean? Give her a pee and keep Yeah, but how can you blow eight million and not Because have a house? she's trying to live Nazi's lifestyle without Nazi's income. Yeah, but where's the house? I Do you get what I'm saying? Not realizing that she should have used that eight mil to have just a better lifestyle than what she originally had. But I don't know. Yeah, but, but that was the um, yeah, no, nah, but you know, you should just boy. peel off. You get what I'm saying? But I get it. Do you get what I'm saying? Cer- certain girls they just go mad, innit? But me personally, I was just she probably just that. sat down in some yeah. penthouse, yeah. yeah, just paying rent, not thinking Bought about getting a yard. <laughs> yeah, but, but why is she homeless? Though? That, that's what I'm thinking. Like, all right, mm. cool. What, like, do you mean she's homeless that she was paying a mortgage and that the more mor- like now that this money stopped, she can't pay the mortgage and she's left the house? Or do you mean like? But in America, those things happen, you know, like their house going to foreclosure and all them things, like. But why should it though, bruv? Like, you know, like for an M in America, what kind of yard you getting? Mm, that's what I'm saying. She most probably was living above her means, definitely. I just feel like she's renting the yard. That's why. And the money management yeah, was she, poor. Yeah, poor, very poor. Isn't it? She's so, what do you think Nas should do as a woman? Help out. I will say that. that. Yeah, yeah I will. Because right. I understand that if your kids walk in, if you don't give the mum money, like, you know, when the kids walk in with, past the shops, they can't go in the shop because the mum... And I never said that the mum shouldn't have something for herself. I didn't say that. The mum should always be able to do something. But 
if it does happen where she doesn't have anything and it's affecting the child and their well-being you're gonna have to take you know that what? l and, char- and charge it to the game that you didn't have right. you didn't get a baby mother that was good with money but mm-hmm. i'm gonna i'm in the position to help her and if this yeah, is gonna yeah, help yeah. my kid be comfortable then that's what i'm gonna have to do bro, i tried to help her for 18 years bro mm-hmm. but anyway i'm gonna help her again she's putting in a stool tell you're homeless in two years but regardless as i'm saying my daughter's 18 yeah daughter yeah, there's your million. bank daughter daughter there's your bank yeah there's your money there's your yard bought back back daughter whatever you need i got you but like as i'm saying to you i i ain't got enough context mm. in Nas's and his baby mother's relationship to know should he help more than the eight million pounds See, that he helped with, if, I'm not, if i'm not gonna help the mom i'm not gonna help the daughter no way like, that's that's the same thing. thing not like that but you get what i'm trying to say uh. it's the same thing like if you're gonna help like do you know what i mean he helped bro like uh. when did csa stop bro and the daughter's no, eight yeah, yeah, yeah he's not obli- he no, doesn't have to no, no, I, I, cool. he when doesn't, 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 doesn't have to i know but when, right, when did the daughter turn 18 though i don't know it Recently. just it, I, I don't know no i don't Fuck know no, we never left that's correct i don't know it was just something that i saw when we just what though dilemma time man started a new thing he get up saying every every episode we have a new dilemma that we're going to talk about where what's the dilemma now hold on this dilemma Yes. Right, let's hear. Yeah, you don't even know this one as well. Dear RTM podcast show, I went out with my boyfriend. So it's obviously a girl. Mm-hmm. I went out with my boyfriend for dinner at a new restaurant we haven't been to before. It's in a part of, of town where we hardly ever go to. I was shocked to see my best friend's boyfriend having dinner with a very young, good-looking woman. Mm-hmm. From the way they were behaving, it was obvious that they were more than friends. They finished their meal and left without seeing us. And on the way out, they were extremely affectionate. What should I do? Mm. Like, basically, should she tell her friend? Should she keep quiet? I know, not very big relationship things we're getting. Everything comes out in the long run. Just relax yourself. See, me, I would just say just like, but obviously, I'm just thinking on in reverse, in reverse fashion, obviously, because it's a girl, mm. so you got to think, all right, cool. So if I'm sitting and I see my brethren's girl, do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. When you think of it like that, like my brethren's girl, I was girl, gonna, I was gonna do you say get what I'm trying to say? It's cool yeah. you saying relax yourself, but you got to think about it like raw. So imagine my, you're going to just relax yourself. Like so so you if you see, see if you, if you, you, Mr. Farron and Alex Paul, see, my girl, yeah, yeah, out with so you won't tell me. You exactly. wouldn't tell me. Say exactly. it, brother. But because, it, say, it, say, it, but because brother. it was a girl that said, you know, you know what? Because it was a girl brother. that said he's saying relax because you, you, you just wanted to relax because mm. it's like yeah. that. No, no, you wouldn't tell man that yo, I'd be real. I digested that whole question. You get what I'm trying to say, like yo, fam. From that woman's point of view, I don't say your cousin Let's just be real in it. Let's talk friends as friends in it. Women as women, boys as boys, bro. If you see. Your um your brethren's gal violating, or if you see your girl's boyfriend violating, we're gonna snitch in it. Yeah, but why? Why is it? Why should the guys snitch and not the girls? <laughs> no, no, no. Why should she relax <laughs> no, 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 and not you? Why, <laughs> why <laughs> should we relax? Come on, man. Just, no, yeah. why? But it's what's hard the work, yeah. it's why? Hard work. It's like, why? I, why? <laughs> yeah. Because obviously, like, if I was in that position, yeah, if I was ever in that position, mm. I'd hope she relaxed herself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're yeah. <laughs> but I don't get that. I, I don't get them situations. No, she just relax, isn't it? But you know where it is, fam. <laughs> you have to check it. Then the other way around, like, oh, yeah. like, right, that's. Yo! Do you know what? See, I was see saying with that one. The other way around, it not. The I'll other way around, it I'll doesn't normally up. work out. For I'll probably get up. I'll probably get up. Most of the time, when girls tell girls, the girls normally end up staying. You know what I mean? Yeah, With yeah, the guys, yeah. it's more of a violation. They're they're embarrassed, whatever, whatever. So they gotta act accordingly for their guys, like to show as well. Yeah. But I feel like with the girls, you know, like they'll go back, and then now you're on the outs. You can't go to the house because he's gonna say, "I don't want that friend coming." <laughs> like you know, he's gonna be like, "You're, you're <laughs> yeah, Bridget, don't red make flag, her come back flag, in." You like she can't come flag, back. Flag, do you get what I'm saying? Flag. Friendships she's over. Out, she's out, she's do you know what I mean? She's so out, she's out. so what she should she do though? Watch because you know what I saw. I seen somebody in her. She me and my sister not. was walking past and we walked we walked past this little this little tiny little restaurant yeah i'm up get up and imagine that we saw this guy that we know i won't say no days 
candle lit dinner, you know them them little Italian <laughs> restaurants where you know the candles all burning over and over and over and over, you know, he, like them proper he, romantic ones. He's been over, but he James was in the mind. window, you know, the, <laughs> the, the table <laughs> bae, at the window. Bae, 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 so bae. we're walking past, they're like, oh hi. But <laughs> I, I we're not the dad. It's not the yeah, girl yeah. that we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, we're like, and he's, he's like, "You're all right." He's Did warm. you come out and say hi to us? I can't remember. <laughs> he said no, but man. You could see he it in his face, man. like, keep moving. Mm. You know what I mean? Me and my sister was like, "Oh my nah, god!" Now, fam, I'll be honest with you. It was me. <laughs> And I see my brethren, I'll probably get up, you know, like, yo, what are you doing? Like, who's this? Like, I'll probably get up and put it on, dude. Like, oh, yo, mate. Who's, do you get what I'm saying? Yo, fam, who, you, that's my, but yo, like, I'll probably look to move the dude, cause I'll be nah, bro, feeling fam. like my brethren. Yo, nah, fam, I'll sure. phone him, yo, fam. Sure, I can sure. see a girl, you know. I can go, so I move to him now, sir. <laughs> I can see a girl, you know. Like, I'll, yeah, yo, like, fam, I can yeah, see a gallon, I can see a gallon, you know? Like, with a neck, um, like, yeah, a, like, what should I do, blood? Yeah, what do you think, think about you get what saying? Green light, stay out of it? What do you reckon, though? Oh, what shall you do? Thing. Yeah, like, with that kind of situation, like, with domestics, what, stay out of it? Say that you saw, what would you, what do you reckon, what should she do? But I'll tell you what else, though, as well. You have to actually consider the level of friendship that that person has that person as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, someone close, I'd feel more obligated to say, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but story. if you but if you got someone that you that you don't really chat to like that, yeah. you're just being chatty patty for arguing. Yeah, just keep then, it pushing. Yeah, keep it. Yeah. Pu- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it's someone like yo, that's my brethren, <laughs> blood. Like, yeah, 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 I'm taking a picture. If you're not to gonna get lie. up, if you're not gonna get up, <laughs> no, I'm taking a picture first. Yeah. Yeah. So we see it. You can't try and run away and lie about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, like, yeah, I'm folding dude. Yeah. I'm like, how? How long? Because that was my whole thing. <laughs> that was my whole thing with the thing. What she didn't even get a picture. When she's saying, "Yeah, that," like, I'm thinking, "Don't tell your brother." You, you ain't got no. You yeah, ain't got no. On the real, yeah. On the real, because the guy's gonna mm. say. God forbid, him. fam. If I ever got that question, yeah, like if I ever got that phone call, bruv, yeah, mm. and my girl sitting in the restaurant, and man, and it's look it. I'm coming down there. <laughs> I'm coming down there. I'm just keep just staying there. I'm telling them, I'm telling them, I'm telling them, man, don't even let them see you. Yeah, just keep them there. Make sure they don't leave. Just, just, just follow them. Change like, the yeah, disguise. Do anything. But, bro, but like, I just feel like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's still. But that's mm. what I'm saying. She didn't even get a picture talking about yeah, they left, <laughs> they left it affectionately. I'm like, thinking, all right, well, don't tell your bridging it because you ain't got nothing to say. Do you get what I'm saying? Man will just say blood. Man beat cases by saying, yo, that weren't me. Mm. And man go there, not guilty, you mad. No, but like, no, I really think you have to weigh up, yeah, the level of friendship that you got for that person. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what I think personally. Mm. But I've seen things, bruv. But I just don't feel like mm. the person that I've seen is worth it. It's, like, it's, yeah. it's my responsibility to even go out of my way to tell you that. Do you know what I'm saying? Thing. For him to even say that, I told him that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, no, no, no. You have to be someone close. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Something yeah, because sometimes be the messenger gossip. ends up being the person that gets it yeah. the most for some yeah. reason. Do you know, know what I mean? That boy. Can't just be gossip. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's got to be real, man. Real, real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And some people don't even want to hear. Some people are vexed that you gave them the news. In you know what I mean? Deep down or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like you don't even. It's like with girls as well. Mm. They could have already known or whatever. Not even like that. <laughs> yeah. but, you got some mad like, oh god, now my friends know, now yeah. I have to leave him. You got, <laughs> you you got some mad girl, no, but you know what it is, though, but you got girl like, you got open relationships. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 we talk about, I know, even Sally today is part <laughs> of <laughs> <laughs> no, you got oh, open shit. relationships, you get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then you, you just go and you, you're mad, you're definitely red flag. She can't come. She can't, <laughs> yeah, she's banned from, She can't come, because I don't know what that from, was about. Uh, for the birthday party. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, you get what I'm saying? She's gone, you get what I'm saying? Oh but yeah, that's God. a mad dilemma. But yeah, yeah, man, just do you know what I mean? Do whatever feels what you feel is necessary. Yeah, you know what I'm saying do what you feel is necessary. You know what I'm saying if you if it's your close close friend, then boy. But obviously, as as the, as the man, him, I gotta stick with Farron and just relax yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you <laughs> yeah, Farron said relax. Yeah, if you the other way around. <laughs> If you're the other way around, come on, I'm man. You're man. You are you that come to the bar spot me today. I'm with you. I'm with you. He was the first guest, and I remember we had to bring it this time. You ain't got to hot me up like that. Do you get what I'm saying, fam? You saw I took you off, Steph. You go. Hey, listen. Hey. Hey, you know what? I took you off that. Let's not even go back. Let's keep it moving swiftly, Carl. You. Madness, do you get what I'm saying? You keep madness. 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 <laughs> Every episode, do you get what I'm saying? We're talking about Dutch and Steph. No, I'm joking. 
48 laws of power. Every episode, we give them a, a, a book. You get me? Mm-hmm. To go and read. 48 laws of power, because you know, this one, I've all had lyrics on RTM Volume 2. You get me? Crush mm. your enemy totally. Who wrote keep that? the 48 laws of power close Robert to Green. Robert Green. What, have you had a books? Read, read? Yeah, 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 bare times. Read it in jail. But, um, the audio the well. best selling book for those who want power, watch power, or want to arm themselves against power. If power is your ultimate goal, this is the book you need, The Times. A moral, cunning, ruthless, and instructive. This piercing work distills 3,000 years of the history of power into 48 well explicated laws. As attention grabbing in its design, as it is in its content, this bold volume outlines the laws of power in their unvarnished essence, synthesizing the philosophies of Machiavelli, Sun Tzu, he made the art of war, Carl von whatever, and other great thinkers. Some laws require prudence. Law one, never outshine the master. You get what I'm saying? Don't outshine me, nigga. But yeah, some stealth. You get what I'm saying? Law three, Conceal your intentions, you get what I'm saying? Don't be talking up yourself. Hmm. And some of the total absence of mercy, law 15, crush your enemy totally. Imagine that, hmm. I even read this, but um, yeah, crush your enemy totally. I keep the 48 laws of power close to me. Read the most volume two. But like it or not, all have applications in real life situations, illustrated through the tactics of Queen Elizabeth one Henry Kissinger, P.T. Barnum and other famous figures who have wielded or been victimised by power. These laws will fascinate any reader interested in gaining, observing or defending against ultimate control. Like, this book's a good book, but you know what it is? Mm. Don't get too caught yeah, up into it. Yeah, I was going to say Don't as lose well. yourself <laughs> into it. Yeah, Don't I, start thinking you're, you're overpowerful because not everyone's overpowerful. Do you get what I'm saying? And always remember you got like the Quran I do remember what you're saying don't get saying the Quran no 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 but, but I'm just trying to say like you gotta read it like and kind of take notes in it like trying to like take notes of what's going on around you because see even when I read it a lot of it came naturally when I read it it's like I know what's going on do you get what I'm saying mm. Pretty a lot like, of it she's been reading a, a, still she's a lot like, of it was she's a lot ten still I've Queen's read it all of, but I was just still. looking at something infection avoid the unhappy and unlucky right corner you get what I'm saying? Anyways, when I read that, it, right? forty-eight laws of power, Robert Greene. Yeah, go on, Kim. Yeah, when I read it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's it's a bit dark, you know. Like it's saying, oh, you've got to be cunning, and you know, like basically, it's telling you to be opposite than you know, like when you think you're being a good person, mm-hmm. show love and this and that, be open with your, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah. And then when I read that book, when I first ever read it, I was like, oh, wow, up. I'm doing everything wrong then, but. I don't feel like I when I read it, it wasn't that I have to follow it. It opened my eyes yeah. as to what I'm dealing with. Do you understand? Which is why I and thought, how to act in certain situations that you can take certain things. Exactly. Really. So that's why I found the book insightful. So mm. you know, yeah, I definitely give it a read still. Yeah, do you I know what? If you, you read it, I feel like yeah, I reckon it's just to tweak up your look, yeah. up, your look a thing. Cause you see enough mm. times like you, you 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 forget what's really going on out here. You get there's a lot of people out here that just on all that. And it's got loads you of different stories from back in history. You have to, you have to understand history. who's on that. So and it shows to, you. All right, cool. Let me get my power back. You yeah, get what I'm saying? It, it shows you like loads of stories, like what people do and whatever, why they act the way they do and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah, no, definitely, man. Good mm. book, man. Good book. Never, never better than the Quran. You get me? Bible. You know what I mean? But yeah, boom. Make sure you check that out. But thanks, my brother, no, man. Always, bro, man. How do you feel? Mm. Man, feel let me just feel let me always. just ask you from episode one to this episode. Yeah. Give us your feedback. Oh, my brother. No, How do you I, feel? I, I yeah, we've let you talk a lot more. But I said it in the we've beginning. We've let you talk a lot more. I said it in the beginning, bro. Like, obviously, thanks for the opportunity. Mm. And I feel like you lot have gone up in it in terms of, like, people that you're interviewing, mm. numbers. I but like after all, your interview, yeah, cool all that. Do how do mean? you feel, like, after speaking to us again now? No, I'm cool, man. But this spray guy's always trying to wind me up. <laughs> and he knows exactly what to do to wind me up. And he winds me up, in it? But we need to get the views. Other than that. <laughs> we need to get the views. Bruv, you better edit. Do you know what I mean? Bruv, you're not having 
<laughs> but yeah, regardless, yeah, mm. other than that though, mm. you get me, still love my brother. Mm. Always, come on, you get me, fam. Um, yeah. And your cups are looking how sick you, as well. Come on, Gassy. Come on. How do you feel like, about these settings compared to the old settings? Oh. Do you know what? Yeah, I feel, um, I'll, um, in terms of look and stuff and the way it's situated, I mm. think I prefer hair. Mm-hmm. Mm. And yeah, I feel like you can grow hair, man. Yeah. I think the b- last bit's a bit more spacious, but for what you're doing here, it's, mm. it's enough, isn't it? It's clean, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, no, I respect man. It's the fact. Yeah, and salute to what you're doing no, once again. Absolutely. Like, big, li- big, literally. Big, 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 yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, big, big you up. And anyone out there, if you you find how yourself they, yeah, in like, trouble they, or something. Like, and, and, oh, oh, yeah, the scars and emotions. <coughs> oh, yeah, boom. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously, um, Faz Amnesty, you can hit me on Instagram always for messages, yeah? Right now, yeah, I'm about to put out a phone number, yeah? Mm-hmm. And that's just for anyone in the community mm-hmm. that needs assistance, you get me? If I can't help you, I know someone that can. That's good. And obviously, um, yeah, my podcast that I'll be running Scars and Emotions. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you're telling me about I'd that. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, come on. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's standard. I've got beer Scars, beer Emotions, you can say it. The reason I'm... Um, mm-hmm. But like I've took time to select the, um, the podcast I wanted to do in it, and it and it dropped to me, and I just thought to myself, in terms of awareness, in terms of visuals, mm-hmm. in terms of like y- uniqueness, and letting people have their stories, I thought yeah that's the way to go about it, and I just feel mm-hmm. like it's something that ties into what I do, and I can kind of relate to these people's scars and emotions because good. of my situation. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. Um, the first episode, um, I think that's going to be run like in line of GMB. Mm. Um and I've got some things coming up in filming in it. Um but yeah. Yeah no, big up yeah, well. <coughs> solid big up good luck with that definitely follow the Queen Queen Ice Cream. Uh, ice cream the poster girl on Instagram, Queen Ice Cream TV on YouTube. Yeah follow me at big underscore bud underscore spray. Follow my Twitter at young underscore spray at RTM Clothing Original www.realadamorse.com at RTM Podcast Show yeah follow that on Instagram and follow my brother just google Farron Alex Paul everything comes up yeah you're done now boom these are all your stuff my brother my bro you know yeah you know you get what I'm saying RTM when I slap that on the world and them girl you understand? When I slap that on, brother, I'll give you a tag. Love yeah. that, though. Yeah.